It's a new year. Yeah. It's new possibilities. And boy, do we ever need this. That's facts. Cricket Wireless can help you make that switch with Mm. a new plan, $30 a month. Yes. That's right for you. Listen. That's right for you. Yeah. That's right for you. Yeah. That's right for you. That's right. Cricket Wireless, make that switch now. Smile and switch to Cricket. Activation and other fees and restrictions apply. Terms subject to change. See stores for details. You couldn't just look at the camera and say it? Oh, I'd rather look at you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Poppin' people, welcome back to Say Less with Kaz, with Lo, with Rosie. Jake's here, Eden's here, my fiance Jasmine's here. Yay. Hey folks, fresh off of Mexico, I'm Kaz. What's up? I'm Loki. What the fuck? What was that? Oh. <laughs> you swallow wanna... so hard, no pause. Yeah. pause. I'm kidding. Every time you Is that how we're starting the shit off? That was an aggressive Didn't you swallow. hear it? <laughs> What up, y'all? It's Low Key, Howard University graduate. Do your drop, host God of Hip Hop Army, throwback on Apple Music <laughs> Hits, and co host on Rap Life Review on Apple Music. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank it's you. Just, it's just Rosie. I'm just here. The, just Rosie, just here. Jake, <laughs> look like a true alcoholic <laughs> for the side. For the fuck? What are you doing? Oh, God. Oh, okay. right. Jake's like, I'm no, like, the no sponsorships. <laughs> no, I got it. I got it. I got it. Now we know what, uh, what's in those Red Bull cans. Mm, no, they right. always know. <laughs> that is pretty smart, though. I've never, I've never seen the small bottle into the can move before. Yeah, That's a little too out. much tedious work to do. It, I mean, it's worth it. It's, it's, yeah, it's a little tedious. But if you're a Red Bull and vodka guy, I could see you going for that. That's okay. a good. That's a good. That. It's easy. It's a good move. All right, good move. Oh, this What's is- up, Jake? What's up, people? What's up, everybody? Um, like always, subscribe on youtubecom mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Uh Streaming on Apple Music. Mm-hmm. Spotify, mm-hmm. Amazon, SoundCloud, mm-hmm. uh, podcast on Vivo. Mm-hmm. Uh, did I Snapchat? It? Snapchat. Snapchat. Yes. We had ninety thousand. Uh, ninety thousand. Ninety thousand followers. Let's try to crack a hundred. Try to crack hundred k. Appreciate it. Very very soon. We moving. We moving. We moving. Um, where are we gonna start? Where are we gonna start? Shit. There's a lot of different directions we can There's go. There's so much to talk about this. We week. could talk about a lot of new music. A lot of new music. Oh. The conversation a about. The sequels. Yeah, yes. sequels. I think we should start with the vacation. The vacation was nice. Yes. Vacation. So you, it was uh, nice. I think it was a good time. J- Jasmine? Jasmine? Want to take a celeb shot? Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on in. Come on. Show the people your tan and your past is black. I'm already tan. Like, come I can't on, get come much. Come on, Show the people how beautiful you got and Paz came back. Shout out. <laughs> we we spoke on vacations. The, the jokes are this right. this week. I figured why not have Bay come by. Mm-hmm. Hello, Bay, fiance, wife of mine. Uh, I need Mike you to introduce yourself. Yeah, doesn't like people. There. Introduce yourself. They know who you are. I'm just saying, right, I mean, just like four million people that don't know. That's I'm all. Not selling anything. Word up. <laughs> Show the rock. This is Jazz. There you go. Colonia Banks, the fiance of Kaz over here. Damn right. Show the rock. Show the rock. Show the rock. Damn right. Bam. Yes. 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 Hey. No, let them know. Ah, oh, my eyes. Let them know. <laughs> Do engagement. Take, you guys take pride on the rock, right? Oh, you got to. Right? You got to. Bro, he re- definitely. Remember in Martin's episode yeah. where he kept this bragging on? He was like, "My nigga, like, let them know how much I paid for this shit." I'm still putting the payment down for this shit. Absolutely. Yeah, yes, please. Oh, no, I paid about. a full. No, no, not you. I'm saying well, how Martin would. No, I'm not, it doesn't I ain't matter about it. how much the ring costs. It's a beautiful ring regardless, and it's the thought behind it. Thank, Thank you so you. much. So, yes, well, because I always I always wonder, like, girls, we, you know, obviously they get so excited when they're engaged and they show it off, and I'm like, is the guy in the background like, <sighs> or is he like, it's, yeah, show know, that shit off? I think it's half and half. Like, you knew that was coming with the move. Right. Like, you knew the brag was going to come. Right. So you got to sit and deal with it. But I, I guess maybe at a certain... also consider the alternative. Uh, what if she's like... Mm. Yeah, right. <laughs> if she's doing that... No, yeah. no. If she's so, doing that, she shouldn't even flip, have the fucking flips it, no. flips it around like... Mm. No. no. I forgot what sitcom it was when, like, the, the girl showed off the ring and mm. everyone was like... 
Oh, that's oh. cute. Like, it's, yeah, you yeah. know, my man didn't do too well. Not well. Not well, <laughs> well but, some girls aren't flashy. If I ever got engaged, I don't even want anything. No. Shit, you better flash my shit. I barely wear my ring. Like, not like that because mm. it's a. Mm. <laughs> you see what that sounds? Mm. Oh. Without context, Bro, that's all right. Let's talk about right it. Like, hold on. <laughs> wait, wait. What's going on, yeah, buddy? I barely wear my ring, girl. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> okay, honey, I be out, honey. And this is And that's on period. Okay, no. <laughs> men are out here oh looking, honey. I'm just kidding. What's the no, case? Because me and Kaz have like started our new like workout yeah. journey. So yeah. like we're at the gym like five, you don't lose five, and you don't five wanna... days out of seven out the week. And like we're doing like bench press stuff. Oh, I'll be I working want... Jazz out. Jazz be trying I to go to the gym I actually wore it to cute. the gym first. <laughs> and he was like, what are you doing? Take your... I'm like, take my ring off in the gym. Oh, what? You're not like proud? <laughs> He's like, no, you're going to ruin it. I was like, oh, you're right. So I, I took it off and... um. Cause we're at the gym every day, and then we went to Mexico. I'm not flashing that shit in Mexico, mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. yeah, it's just it's barely on, and like we don't go anywhere. So what's the point? I another another Martin reference when he went, went to the to gym. Yes, it's a so I'm looking at Jazz, like you trying to see if you still got it. <laughs> but that was uh, funny. Yeah. That was a and funny he lost that shit too. <laughs> but one 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 specific reason I want today to be on here today is mm-hmm. because last week mm-hmm. we spoke about vacations and you know the adventures that we take on those vacations. And how you let people know oh. you're on a vacation. And you let people know, right? right. And yeah, here you go. out of the two of us, you know, there was one specific event or activity that we wanted to do that I couldn't do. But uh, wait, so you wanted she to definitely do it. did. So here's the thing, right? No, he never wanted to. Tell us the truth. All right. <laughs> never wanted and it to comes do up. It. And Are you lying to us? Right. So this is, this is what happened. Lie to us. Like, don't lie to the people. There. Don't like, lie yeah. to people. He never wanted to do it. Can you let me provide context, please? <laughs> Goddamn. I had no idea they even had bungee jumping where we were going, right? <laughs> so we go to the we, concierge. Neither. We go to the concierge, right? And Finally. You know, they, he was putting that off, too. I'm like, let's go to the concierge. Let's see what activities we can do. It just kept getting and put off for like the first day and the second day. And I'm like, no, we're going today. I wanted to lay my ass out on the beach no, and chill and No, because he didn't want to do no crazy activities. And smoke and relax. You know, like, that's... Let's, let's just ask no, him the question. There's nothing, him no, the there's question. nothing wrong with let's that. Let's ask him the question. Okay. Oh, he, it was, were you scared? Hell yeah, I was, yeah. I was saying, can you let me provide the context? Yeah. Yes. I don't think so scared we go to the concierge like, yo, they got this place called uh, Wild Canyon in, in Cabo, right? It's got great outdoor activities. It's got mm. ATVs. I'm like, great, ATVs. Camels. Oh, snap, camels. It's going to be great. Horseback riding. I'm like, hell yeah. Bro, I, never, I never heard Dude. anyone be so excited about camels. <laughs> yeah. Camels. Yeah. Yes. That's what I've been waiting for. Yo, like, you what? You can see a big camel in front of your face. Oh, wow. This is incredible nature. It's awesome. You in the house for a year straight. Yeah. You I haven't been to out. see anything. I wasn't ready. happy to see a damn peacock. Right Dead ass. Right. It's like, like yeah, I just, just want to see animals. I wasn't getting excited so, about a camel. So yeah. there was a bunch of activities, and then they were like, oh, yeah, it's in the middle of the canyon. So they got bungee jumping. Yeah. And then Jasmine looks over at me like, <gasps> I got so <laughs> Let's like do it. <laughs> she didn't care about anything else that was, was like on the agenda. Camels, no, ATVs, no, no, no. Bungee no. jumping? Whole, We're doing that. Sign me it up. was a whole day's worth of activities it there. Was, Jazz Christmas did not care morning. about nothing else anymore except not just bungee jumping, but getting me to bungee jump with her, right? I could see like the the wheels turning in her head when she said she heard that <laughs> word bungee jump. She was like, "Yes, was like, this nigga is coming along." Gotcha. So, so as so as we're like you know paying for the stuff or whatever, I'm like immediately regretting this. Regretting what? <laughs> his whole my whole yeah. mood yeah, changed. I like what, and I'm just like when I see you like are are upset, I'm gonna just keep poking you then. It's yeah. Like, yeah. Almost like don't show me you weak because I'm gonna just keep messing <laughs> with you and I'm gonna keep picking at you and like talking shit to you. So yes. you show me that I'm like, are you so you, kidding you started antagonizing? Yes, me? She was she was absolutely. doing to me what I do to you every week. <laughs> but I've seen her do that. To you, so I know what that looks like. Also, <laughs> so we, fu- so the whole day, I'm like, all right, fuck, I'm just psych myself up to go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Fuck it. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do this when I get there, mm-hmm. right? So then, I actually see the shit, and I'm like, the cliff. Fuck no, we saw dude. Her we're going over the bridge. So mind you, yeah. So if anybody of- anybody knows anything about me, I'm terrified of heights. Like terrified of heights. I'm Even not scared of most things. Huh? Even roller coasters? I ride roller, roller coasters are different. See, like, I don't do roller coasters, but I'm not scared of heights. No, no, no. I can do a roller coaster. I can't I can do the do motion like shit, that, that type of shit. Oh, okay. But I can't do like 
those like free falls. Like anything that's a free yeah. fall, yeah. Like, oh. it's a straight drop. Right. right. Like we zip lined, the zip line was lit, like yeah. all that type of shit. It's fine. But it's just that straight down yeah. that, that is f- no, that no. Nightmare where you wake up. Yes, that's the best like, feeling. I've had like, so many. I know. I've had so my many. My only regret was I should have screamed the Hillary Bank. Hillary <laughs> 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 Bank. I was watching your stories. Bro, and she didn't want to do it, and then, it's, and then I go splat, and it's like I just. She said my that face. in the video, and I was like, "This is why Kaz is scared." She was like, "Look, it's gonna be great." <laughs> splat. I was like, "What?" I'm only, I'm only thinking of the worst case scenarios this entire trip. Mm-hmm. I'm like. Yo, I'm gonna be the one dude that goes and bungee jumps and hits splat on the top of the floor. And right before we go to sign up to do it, we're about to go zip line, and I see somebody do it. And it's like a, the girl has to be like no older than 16. Like she's yeah, a kid. She was like a her parents. Yo, them motherfuckers have no fear. She and was she was. With her what? <laughs> <laughs> she had her. She jumped like Superman. She had her GoPro, like, and it fell off on her the- head and broke. Like, oh. yeah, but she was with it. I was like, okay, girl. Her yeah. mom was like, I can't watch. I can't see my. She a white girl? Of course. of course. I was about to ask. I was gonna ask. No, of I mean, she. I mean, she's black. Mean I did it. Come That's what I'm on. saying. She's black, and she just jumped right into it. But you know, the white. So girl we did bit. all the activities. We did the zip line. We did all that type of stuff, and then like the, we saving best for last, the bungee jump. So I'm walking over there. I'm reading all the the, the things that you need to do to be able to bungee jump, mm. and then there's a weight limit. So I'm like. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he missed like, it by it's twenty a, pounds. Doesn't matter. Wait, should I said how many pounds? That was like, yeah, things. No, it doesn't matter. That, I was. Uh, it immediately made sense why I never see big niggas like me bungee jump. I was like, oh, okay, this makes sense, yeah. right? But there was like some swingy thing that you can do. That yeah, yeah, I know. Essentially that. the, oh, the same. Kitty park? No, it's not. The, no, it's it's probably more terrifying than it the was, bungee I jump. I think it was like, more scary because you're just because like, you go down. You have to go the momentum and, of the swing, so you have to wait for the swing to slow down. But you're dropping from three hundred feet, so. And it just like takes you. It's just you. gonna go back and forth. I and mean, he's terrified of heights. I think he would have been out there like fearful. And he probably then would've been you would have passed out probably. Yeah, probably I probably would. But probably this one was a little more like person personal, like with it. It was almost like you're on an episode of the challenge because like as you drop, you also have to connect yourself back to get back up. So like as I did the bungee, they. They brought down a carabiner that I had I'm gonna send you, I'm gonna send you a video on then. my waist. Bro, that and I had to like connect a lot of work. It while I'm hanging upside down to uh, get back up it. to the top. Oh, shit. Wow. So, Cass, same thing, like I a different device. It. He would have had to grab something while he's out there to pull it and get back up. So, he wasn't doing all of that. No, but. fuck no. It was. But it was great. It was fun. It was probably more terrifying watching you do it because. You were terrified for me. You fall, right? You fall and. Like the bounce back, I'm not really ready for. I'm thinking like it's that like was fucking... the most terrifying part because like you know a bungee, you 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 drop mm-hmm. and the bungee and you come back up. So at that moment when they oh. come up at the same time, you literally feel like nothing's holding you up. Mm. Like you feel like you're just about to die and like fall to your doom. Like I skydived three times already. And you always feel secure, like you have some kind of security, yeah. some kind of blanket, like you can pull and you're good. This, right. it was just like, shit, is something holding my feet? Like you feel like nothing's there yeah. mm-hmm. at that momentum when you're like coming back up with the bungee. And then I you probably drop, drop again, holding like, my feet. Okay, but <laughs> be like, that no. was the best feeling ever. It was so exhilarating. I'm so happy I did it. So. But watching you do it. The adrenaline junkie over here. Was, no, That's she really cool. is. No, she I really is an that. adrenaline junkie. I, like, I saw I, her jump. I was like, I want to go. <laughs> Rosie, you would have loved it. I was like, I want to go. I want to do it. I'm next. Oh, let me let me send the video. Here. Did you guys ever go skydiving? The commentary from you was to. the funniest on those videos. She said she went three times skydiving. Yeah, and so where I go, if you actually do the course seven times, they let you. You skydive. I'll be certified, and I can like skydive on my own. <laughs> okay. So I was telling Kazim how romantic it would be if he would do this the seven Jasmine, skydiving. Guess what? Guess and when what? we're older, like after our kids, guess and what? Shit, we can like go to different countries and skydive together. <laughs> do you go? Guess what? Out of planes Bro. and absolutely shit. fucking. Uh, <laughs> I'll skydive like maybe once or twice. That's what I'm saying. Like, yo, yo for some seven? reason, for some reason, the skydiving doesn't bother me. Like, I'll skydive. What? But the bungee jump, dog, it's, you got to see it say that, for yourself. Say like, yo, you do bungee. know that, like, it's coming, like, you're going faster yes. as you skydive. Yeah. At least you have a support system when you when you bungee. Nah, like I but need no, to, like you logically have a support system cuz you have someone when you skydive. Yeah. That too, but you have something grabbing onto you. You like, don't holding. feel that 
right? No, you don't. When you're in the air, no. And until your back down is jerking you back down, of course, you have support on your legs. So like, I'll you, do either there is a moment where you feel you're just flying. And I have little ankles. It feels, it might break. It feels I incredible. Know. Yeah, I mean, I think that's the whole point of it. Like, just to feel like you're flying, you're free, you're not attached <gasps> you to anything. Like, that shit sounds fire as fuck, bro. I know. It's like in, Let me tell you something. Like Lose some weight so you can really do it. I'll do it with you. Do you do it with me? I'll do it with you. I'll bungee jump with you. Well, here's here's Jasmine bungee. Of all three, I look ridiculous. Here's my fiance bungee jumping. Oh my Mexico. gosh! <laughs> Here it comes. We got volume for this too. Yeah. Because my commentary is pretty. <laughs> oh, that shit looks so That's the- much. <laughs> Shit. That's no. the moment you're talking about where it doesn't feel like anything. Yes, yeah. That's that moment. Yeah, up. that's that moment. The first drop and it came back. And now she's just fucking dangling. <laughs> that shit looks <laughs> so like much fun, bro. I oh would have hated my that. god! Oh, that's fire! <laughs> so then he brings a carabiner down, and I have to connect it to myself to get back up. And that's, and that's, that's you? you? Yeah, that's and it's swinging. So I'm almost like, I feel like I was in the challenge and shit. Like I had to kind of catch it as I'm swinging. So where do they, where do they, so now they drop them? like a little hook next to you? Did I what? Oh, absolutely. So now you got to hook yourself, you have to pull yourself up and hook yourself? Yeah. So I think I have to <laughs> Why do I sound like Bane? There, I don't know. You have your mask on. Right you have your mask on, right? Yeah. No. No, he sounds like It definitely doesn't right sound like this in the video. I don't know why it sounds like that. See how oh, they're bringing yeah, that yeah. down? So I had to connect that to my character. I would hate this time because I feel like all the blood is going to start rushing to my head. Yes. And one, you're just looking at cement. So you're just literally like, well, if anything happens, I'm just dropping head first into the concrete. But it was great. I love that shit. Well, oh, baby, thank you for. You're proving. welcome, Jake. Please come back. I thank you for proving for you. to everyone <laughs> who wears the pants in our relationship is definitely. <laughs> She's like, you're welcome. Here. Here. You're welcome. Oh, okay. Damn right. right. Enough. Enough. I'm sorry. Don't guys. be a negative, Nancy. It's a. T- Anywho, <clears throat> I say all that to say, vacations. A okay. <laughs> A okay, vacation. Even if it's not as eventful as y'all's were. Like, you know sometimes what? it's just, just the regular cool chill out. Just eat. getting that. Yeah. Just getting But y'all had <laughs> You wanna come back? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you missed the mic a little bit. Oh, we'll <laughs> <know that. laughs> Get the clip up. No, just about getting the hell out the house, man, yeah. and just getting away and just yeah. like experiencing new shit with somebody you love. Like mm-hmm. it's it's you know, there's no way you can underrate that experience. It's not at all. Fantastic. Not at all. Thank you, baby. Thank you for coming with me. I got a question. Cabo, what's up, bro? How long do you have to wait with someone before you go on a vacation? Like, That's a good question. Very good question. I feel like you got to have been through some shit. Like, so, yeah, but everybody. Yeah, because you, well, either, you can either be through some shit because you also don't want to be that person that just takes everybody. I was gonna say, there's <laughs> a lot of them. Yeah, like yo, just you just there's fly out, mommy. Them. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like you don't want to be that too. I feel like you really gotta be through some shit first to be like, all right, let's go. I or like, I, I can, I know I can be around this person, but no, traveling with somebody is also a test of like. Can I be with this motherfucker? Oh, like, yeah. From the airport to the hotel to, to food and to activities, you got to really be able to be in sync with somebody. Because yeah. if you're not and you out the country or whatever, it's just like, fuck. I got to sit with Listen. this person for the next four days. If you haven't spent more than a week with this person, like in your own space. Yeah. Don't do it. Don't do it. Right. <laughs> don't do it. Right. Not a good idea. Right. Not a good idea. Um, all right. So let's 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 swing into some some current events. Uh, we were talking about this in the group chat today about sequels, right? Yes. Like lots of sequels. And everybody's talking about coming to America. Shout out to all the influencers they got paid to tweet about it. <laughs> Instagram, man. Shout Appreciate the bag. It was great. KP. Shout out everybody. Not mad at it at all. Yeah. Uh, but let's get into some real talk, man. Let's let's get into it. Now, I mean, all right. Rosie, so did you watch it? I didn't watch it. Jake, did you watch it? I was forced it? not to watch it. I heard everybody. You were forced was, not to? Everyone was just, it was nothing good. Okay. But here, I didn't okay. see not one so good here, review. Here, or here's the review. thing about it. Here's the thing right. about it. Because, Very mixed reviews. Yeah, yeah, of Very course. But like, when you watch a film like that and understanding how much time has passed, my my expectations were on the, the floor. Right. Same. Right? So Same. it's like Eddie and Arsenio haven't been, you know, in movies like that for Lord knows how long. I mean, Eddie has, but like not, you know, yeah. consistently. That movie was like the looks for everyone else. Yeah. There was a lot of looks from a Trevor Noah, you know, yeah. Leslie Jones. 
um, Tiana Taylor, Rotimi, even Rick Ray Ross Fowler, got a look. Rick Ross, yeah, yeah, I mean, like that—that that was that movie while piggybacking on like mirroring the the, the story from the first movie because mm-hmm. that's pretty much what it was. Mm-hmm. It was a mirror of that. And people forget that's Eddie's calling card, bro. Mm-hmm. Like even from from Jump. Eddie Murphy's always about putting on other black town. Like, right. You watch Harlem Nights. You watch Eddie Murphy. Uh, you watch uh, Life to America Life. Yeah. You watch uh, Trading Places. You always had young, hungry black comedians, male or female, always in prominent roles. Right. So, like, when I'm looking at this movie and I'm, you know, you know, I'm just watching it and, you know, understanding what the storyline is developing into. Like, I'm not thinking, I'm not looking for an Oscar-worthy performance. <laughs> I didn't think this is going to win a Golden Globe or anything like that. It was fun. It was cute. It was wholesome. It mm-hmm. was cheesy. It was It was what it served to be. It's a popcorn flick. It was a popcorn, it's a popcorn family flick, bro. flick. Like, Just I wasn't, throw it on. Now, if you ask me, if you ask me, would I have green lit it? No. Why not? Because, no, because... This you is know so, it's going to make bread. It definitely made bread. No, I'm, I'm sure it does. <laughs> but it goes back to our conversation about do we need certain sequels? Right. And I personally think we didn't need it. What we got was cute and wholesome. Right. And that was... that was It served its purpose. We could have just purpose. done another movie. Now, Rosie, you said a lot of people was just telling you it was... It was, it was, it was I just... Was I got... Not one person said watch it. It was cheesy. That It served its because we, purpose. That's a, all. But as a sequel, we expect, like, you to follow but up 30, with the original. 30, year, 30 years we later. Expect, we expect. That's, 30, 30 years that's later, I'm not expecting that to be. Like, like, if it was, like, maybe, like, five, seven, then it's like, all right, come with some shit. No, mm-hmm. not even. It was 30 years later. What were you thinking you was going to get? Well, a Scorsese thing, like, well, like, no, I think motherfuckers was watching Coming to America thinking it was gonna be Oscar worthy. Like, it's gonna, it's gonna set the stand because, like, was yeah, be like, like, was it corny? Yes. To yeah, yes, it yeah. was corny. Yes, it was. No, corny. I don't think I don't think it was corny. If it's Coming it, to America, too, way. I expect Coming to America. I enjoyed two. it. And the reason Part why two. I enjoyed it, right? It, it was, was corny reasons. in a good way. One reason was it felt like just a nice little. We're gonna get. First off, I was happy. I was happy that so many people were still alive. In it, right? Mm-hmm. Like once I started seeing like fucking Queen to be dude, mm-hmm. James Earl Jones still alive, Arsenio doing well, fucking then West- everybody Wesley. except the mom, Wesley Snipes, like it was cool to see all the callbacks to the to the original and the yeah. references, yeah. like at the end when Peaches and them came out, mm-hmm. sexual chocolate, like every moment that you know, every, if you know coming to America, you picked out every little nuance that they put in front of you. Yeah, yeah. Like the even the braid with with Lavelle. Yeah, the fucking that, the princely the, lock. The, it's yeah, like yeah, if you know yeah. coming to America, you would appreciate all those little anecdotes, and yeah. that's what I appreciated. But like, yeah, as a movie as a whole, yeah, it was cheesy, corny, cute. We smiled, I laughed a little bit. Like, oh, okay, I like that's, that's I, cute. I think. Per- Personally, the reason why I kind of wanted to talk about it today and just like more of it in general is that I think we do that too much. What? I feel like we look at things and especially black artists and black movies and black TV shows, like we judge it so harshly. So harshly. Because because it me because one, I think it they mean so much to us. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Like when we always hear about yo reboots and all this Mm -hmm. other shit, we're the first ones to be like, no. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't want a Martin reboot. I don't. I wouldn't want a uh, Wayne's brother reboot. Right. Like, you don't want none of that stuff. So when you see coming to America and then like Bad Boys Three, we're like, oh, mm-hmm. you killed my spirit. Well, like, mm. Bad Boys Three wasn't that bad. What? You like Bad Boys Three? It wasn't as bad. That as I shit thought was it, wack. I thought it was gonna be oh, worse. Oh, hell well, my expectations I, yeah, were I, high. I, that shit was bad boys horrible. Was not my expectations were not high. Does, like does I was bad, like, I'm sorry. I'm it was sorry. Horrible. Does a bad sequel impact how you view the first movie at all? No. Absolutely. Nah. No. 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 I'm not gonna probably in in a good way. It makes me appreciate the OG more yeah i'm not gonna yeah. look at coming to america now and like hate the first one like oh my god i can't no nah, nah, i still love the first yeah. one much but Do you yeah. think it did it justice just for the way for what it is yeah for being coming to america i think how, so. they, how they wrote the story out and like i was saying how they pinpointed certain things and brought back certain characters and like kind of the story was cohesive with the first one i can appreciate that outside of everything else i'm just like oh, okay also, I just want to say real quick because I feel like I wouldn't be doing any justice if I don't say this, but Leslie Jones killed that shit. Leslie Jones and Wesley Snipes. And Wesley Snipes. Oh, Wesley Snipes killed that I'm shit. Were the funniest uh, parts of that movie. wasn't really. You didn't like Leslie Jones? Jones? Uh, you wasn't funny with Leslie Jones? Nah. Do you know why? Uh, you Wesley, to... yeah. Okay, yeah, Wesley, but. Uh... Shout out Rick Ross with the with the best. Yo, for real. 
<laughs> man's like, bill, man's that? dropped the verse on Drake's free pack, and then it fucking <laughs> yeah, the bro, movie comes man, out a weekend, bro. bro. Not bad at that. My oh, man had that the too, cohesiveness. Though, I got He's that. Like, I like that. Uh, Prince Akeem has a son. He had an accent. In America. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh shit. shit. He played accent. like a fucking Nigerian soldier or some shit, like a little rebel soldier with the fucking gun and shit. Damn, was Burnham I think what, the exclamation nah, for me. Nah, <laughs> DeVito was DeVito. in Yes. Um, yeah. Damn, I'll who else? It. Fucking uh, Michael Blackson. Michael was Blackson like, was yo, the yo, person the else. The Kembe The Kembe Mutombo. That was the most random one. It wasn't all that red. Like, what I saw, I was like... That makes sense. Yes. I mean, I get it, but I'm like, Matumbo, well, like, where the fuck this nigga too, come though. from? He was the only one that didn't have to, like, put on an accent. <laughs> like, no. This is my native tongue, my guy. Yeah. <laughs> but nah, I think we that do that too much. Thing. Right. <laughs> I, I know, I know, like, I'm definitely guilty of, like, too many sequel culture, right? Like, too many reboots, too many, like, yo, create some new shit. Like, create something that, like, other people can, you know, look at and be like, oh, that's dope. Let's mm. make a sequel to that instead yeah. of, oh, this worked 20 years ago. Let's reheat this yeah. turd and, and see if it <laughs> I think it's sense. like, it's like the hook, like the hook and switch. Like, you coming to America, everybody knows that, how much of a cultural movement that was. Right. Like, Yo, let's do that shit again because right. everybody's going to be like, well, what's it about? And is it lives up to the expectations. So that's why that happens. I think it's lazy. Yeah. And I think it deprives like the new writers and the new actors because I don't want to see a new favorite actor in a sequel. But do you? But the reason why I'm not mad at that though is because a lot of times a lot of shit don't get greenlit. Yeah, yeah. Right. And yeah. a lot of times you need that look and be like, oh yeah, that's homeboy from House Party Five. Like, yeah. all right, you gotta you gotta get your look in somewhere. You know what I mean? Yeah, like that's just my person. I'm, I'm, I like Jermaine Fowler. I think Jermaine Fowler is hella funny. I liked him a lot on Guy Code. Mm -hmm. uh, like he had a he had a sitcom on CBS that was pretty dope. And like playing Eddie Murphy's son in a Coming to America sequel, mm -hmm. even if the movie sucks, that was a good look. It's a good fucking look for you. You know what I mean? And like some exposure because as bad as the movie, people didn't like. It, everybody watched it. Everyone's watching that shit. Mm -hmm. Like it's that. that you was, gotta watch it to make sure. I'm gonna watch it eventually to make sure it's. It's if you if you go in there and you lower your expectations, like I said, like I did for Bad Boys Three. Yeah, My shit was on the floor. So like, I'm watching. I'm like, there'll All be right. moments in Coming to America, like Bad Boys Three, when you see Homeboy with the braids that Reggie. became like a marine. I was like, oh, okay, that's, that's a nice call. Back. Like, that's exactly what that movie was yeah. the callbacks yes like we need y'all it's Come a on. fun movie that's it's, all it was, it was i thought it was fun i thought it was too baby don't say nothing i definitely fell asleep for the last 10 minutes <laughs> 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 last night. but from what i saw like from the first the last 10 minutes uh, are like the that's the good the part. part yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. the good i've seen it a million I, I feel oh like I've God. seen it a million So what are you judging it on? We missed the good part. Everything up until... So if Everything I saw all that without the bad part... No, the last 15 minutes are is the good part. I'm not going to lie. Coming to America was on like TNT today because it's going to be plastered all over oh, yeah. TV from now on. Yeah. But I'm oh, not going to lie. That too, but... The parts I did see in the movie, I was oh. like just listening... Baby, we can't hear you. You're not in the microphone. Uh, no, I'm not. No. Just see you guys. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, the tape of the show, lady. Oh, okay. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I don't hold my eyes. <laughs> Wait, come come, come, over, come over come over here. I still judge it now. I that's, that's what I'm saying. If you got something to say, you can jump on Edin's mic and it'll it'll work. I'm All right. done. I'm done. No, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> what? She's <laughs> God. Yeah, your wife is so fucking random, bro. Ah, oh, hilarious. All right, Jasmine, you are you are you are a hoot. Um, but what? A hoot? a hoot? A hoot? No, I know what it is, but it's funny you, you said a it. A hoot, bro. Um, fuck, a lot of new music came out this week. Um, all right, so we'll start with uh, Let's get into it. Bruno Mars and How about everybody Pac. listen. Everybody hear the new Bruno? A hundred percent. Don't leave the door open. Love girl. It, shit. No, I just heard the Drake. You didn't. What do you what do? What do you do on these days? Like, bro. Is the I'm not on Twitter all day, tell you that much. Oh. I, 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 I want to jab, jab. Guess who got paid to be on Twitter hey, last hey, night? Hey, <laughs> amazing. That's why, no, but really, but really, that's why I don't know about shit, because I, I get on Twitter like once every other day. Yeah, this what about on Instagram, though? Yeah. 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 You're on the gram. I'll watch shit. I'm a little bit of really like. Anyway, okay, so, you know, Anderson Park, Bruno Mars released the the uh, Don't Leave the Door Open, I'm Sonic, door Silk open. Sonic. Yeah, Silk Sonic. And I, there's really no critique. I know what Eddie threatened me. I like Bruno, me, though. That I couldn't, Let me tell you something. Bro. I couldn't I like critique Bruno. 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 I'm willing to stand on this take right now. Uh -oh. I like Bruno. Uh -oh. I'm willing to stand on this take. I hope it's good. I'm with it. There is nobody... 
that makes better pop music oh, alive I'm right wrong. now. Mm. Not anybody walking mm. God's Not green like earth mm. that makes better pop music than Bruno Mars. Oh, yeah. Okay. I love Bruno. Nobody is fucking with that little short, Hawaiian. racially ambiguous. Yeah. Love him. Drug inducing. So, <laughs> like, okay, so the line. Dancing, you singing, the line? motherfucker. Are you him with the weekend? Bruno, Bruno partakes as well. Like, so you're gonna week. you're gonna get a lot of pushback for that because people are gonna say Beyonce. People, yeah, gonna, people gonna say, gonna say four, people are gonna say four or five different artists. All right, Rihanna, Beyonce, maybe Ariana Grande, Drake. Oh, listen, I'm I'm, I'm, no, I'm no, talking no, no, pop no, music. Great, like, I fuck with Ariana. I fuck with Ariana. You know what I mean? I fuck with the Biebs. Shout out Biebs. Don't put too much on this song because if that album, I hope it's not. Listen. but that album could come out and it be. Whack as fuck. A Listen. stinker. Right. I'm willing to bet my baby toe <laughs> that Bruno Mars and Anderson Pac are not going to have a single whack record on that. If album, that's bro. what we're gonna get out of this album <laughs> or this EP, like if or that's whatever, the single, if that's the if that's the jump off point, I'm excited. They're doing like a, a they're doing an album together. Oh. Yeah, it's called uh, yeah, so Sonic. Sonic. Yeah, they're, they're a band now. So yeah, they, they got all that. Friday yeah, was gotta, the first. I'm gonna listen to the I'm gonna listen to the track. Actually, let me down. That's an old school love song. Inviting a girl over, playing your case of why he likes and loves whatever the case mm-hmm. is, and like just the the cadence. The, but who makes better pop music than him right now? Like when he drops a song, in your opinion, and you're like, "Yo, I'm gonna hear this song for the next ten years minimum, minimum, bro." That Drake, one? Yeah, Drake. That a lot of people will say that. A lot of people can would say that classic songs. I'm talking I about the Childish Gambino. I guess a lot of people will say that. Who? He said Childish. He has a, a couple songs that I would listen to. A, don't do that. <laughs> What's don't do that. I'm fucking with. I'm fucking with Childish Gambino. Don't do that. I play Childish Gambino in the house. Yeah. Mean, don't do that. He has one or two tracks that I would listen to forever. <laughs> she said Childish Gambino. Yeah. You don't yeah. fuck with Childish Gambino. I'm not saying no, this whole thing. All right, all right. Let's not, turn, not turn it no, why, into why, that. Why, why, why is it so? Why, I understand that. where she's coming from. I'm gauging the question that was asked. Oh, what was? Um, I thought it was just what's who's an the overall artist or just song? well. First the question all, was like for the, the next. Two years, you said for right? you said for the next ten years. Yeah. Oh. Like but I'm talking about, I'm like saying overall artists, like an artist that you just listen to. Oh, he makes good. He may, uh, He makes good music. The no, question, I'm asking if that's your question. Because no, we asked the question. Songs. We asked the question about who, if someone put out a record right now, would would it be played for the next ten years? Yeah. Oh. That was a question. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she said, "Childish Gambino." Be, and I'm like, wrong. Cardi, maybe. There's some Drake records I don't want to listen to that came out two years ago. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, the, Tre- ra- but the Rachel Treasure come on right now. Give me that. Give me that. Give me your attention, baby. But the Passion also came on. Huh? The Passion Fruit also came on. Mm. They don't hit as hard. Don't as hit as hard as. I'm not saying. Don't hit no, as hard no. as my fucking. But it hits. And it's gonna hit. It's yeah. gonna Chunky. hit. Finesse. Yo. Finesse, bro. Oh, that yeah. whole 24 karat gold album. Yo. Perfection, bro. Perfect. I mean, also, also built off the backbone of New Jack Swing, so the sound is already all right. Good. Yeah, no doubt. That's fine. I'm not. Don't. That's not being defensive. I'm, not, I'm just saying it's the relatability of why the sound that sound is still popular. Yeah. You know, low going hate. I don't. So, right, so I would just say, yeah. Yes. Okay. Bruno Mars f- finesse. He has a 24K. I understand that, but there's a relatability and there's a connection of why that music is still alive. Yeah, but no. And that's why that music is so popular. No one yeah. else is bringing a lot of motherfuckers. Right, but New Jack Swing is still a sound that is really relevant today 100%. and he captured that shit like no other if it was that easy everyone would do it and not everybody could do it like bruno Mars i understand it, i'm just i'm put i'm, I'm putting the dots together That's and i all and, and one thing i do all appreciate about bruno mars though is that he don't hit me over the head with music so much that i get sick of him Mm-hmm. Yeah, like he there's he takes that's, his time he, he takes his time yo like spaces out properly like i the one thing I do find myself like not enjoying music as much as I did like in the 2010s, like blogger or shit, is that like, bro, turn that shit off. I'm about to. What, uh, phone ringing? Yeah, like that shit. Is it I didn't mind breaking on dick dick the Yeah, is it the dick pic or is it another? Dick pic. Slay That shit ain't stopped since we started recording. <laughs> Don't be mad, your phone dry. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I put my shit on silent, my nigga. Like, Let me see. But then y'all niggas get mad when I answer the phone. When I answer the phone, y'all get mad. I'm hitting you up. I'm saying. Watch, I gotta take every text the, I can get. <laughs> the, <laughs> phone, the phone provided us content last week, so we, we gotta we gotta jump back into that in a little bit because I heard right, I heard uh, we, we didn't finish the story. I heard some listeners were DMing me about it. No, so all right, so all right, <laughs> let's 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 do that. Last week, 
we put it out there. We're going to do this thing with Manscaped, right? Where you. you slide in Rosie's oh, DMs, the person who gets the best pickup line, right? The, be- the funny... The- Manscaped is sending us a bunch of free stuff. Right. right? Hey. Uh, and I don't have as men, shit to skate. Yes, so. <laughs> exactly. So Rosie I felt like she'll... Nice little, nice yeah, I figured play. I would just give them out, right? So I'm like, whoever could slide in my DMs. and It has to be like a line you'd consider, though. Like, uh, It can't... like corny even if it's funny like i'd be like hmm if i consider going to his page he went but funny funny is always a good like knock on the door though that's what i'm saying like if it's funny cheesy wins. okay 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 funny, yeah, wins. Yeah. funny always wins so last week last week <laughs> why did i ask for a dick pic where did this come from i forgot why i asked for a dick pic but i was like oh because i was saying that every girl has their favorite right yeah. mm-hmm. and you guys were giving me some shit about that i was right. like dude we all have a favorite that if they respond there's no other options no we were talking about uh, unsolicited dick pics Unsol- yeah and why people do them yeah. right yes. and how and that they're terrible don't do that they you probably that. shouldn't ever do probably that ever but not probably just don't you know, do just, <laughs> not probably don't <laughs> just don't only if it's only if it's requested is right. what happened. So you right. were like, you know what? I'm gonna request, I'm gonna a dick request one right now. And I did. And Kaz gave me a time. He was like, you know, um, if you don't send it before the show's over, you're you're, you're pretty washed. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, okay. And I'm I'm pressing him too. He's like, I got you. And I was like, fuck. Never got it. Damn. Never got it. We call him after. No, no, you call I- him. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Rosie called the nigga. I just happened to be in the hallway while she was doing it. <laughs> so <laughs> continue. She's gonna no, pull you into the gym. Like, hell no. We, we call them. No. <laughs> Me and Lil Rosie, know what's up. Face <laughs> I'm like, nah, nigga, that's not how this went. Yeah, so wait. Sorry. So, so when we called him, right? <laughs> Just, Bro, stop doing that, man. No, so I called him after and I was like, damn, man, you got motherfuckers thinking I'm washed. You couldn't send me the pictures. Like, yo, I had to shower. I had to get him right for his photo shoot. Oh, God. Whatever. Okay. Never got it. Oh, yeah. I got it the very next day. Mm-hmm. Do you know what's worse than an unsolicited dick pic? Technically, it's uh, not because you requested it. No. Technically, it's not. You, do you know what's not. worse than an unsolicited dick pic? What's worse than an unsolicited, unsolicited dick pic, Rosie? A soft dick pic. Oh. <laughs> No, 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 no. To get ready and still wasn't ready. (laughs) (laughs) It took all night to get ready and still wasn't ready, Jazz. Can you believe the dish? So time out. So time out. I was so disrespectful. I was was like, you disrespecting him and you disrespecting me. At the behest behest of talking about. And hold on. And that's your favorite one? I was about to say, like, yo, (laughs) that was your go-to. I want to change that criteria up, my nigga. He might might have to get knocked down the power rankings. Yeah, that's wild. Just a smidge. You watch like that? (laughs) (laughs) Yo, here, take this softy. Ro- yeah. As soon as as soon as Rosie saw that flaccid penis in her phone, <laughs> as soon as she saw that flaccid penis in her phone, she was begging for a vaccine wait. immediately. <laughs> <laughs> so we gotta get back to these streets. Wait, wait, wait. Did you text him back and say me and Lo are not impressed? <laughs> I should. No, bro. Let's send not- <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna stop. Lo I'm gonna stop. Did you see it? No. I'm gonna stop. <laughs> See, this is when the blood pressure starts to get high. Like, this is what, this is what I mean. I learned this from Kaz. This is what I mean when y'all do this. I learned this the from Kaz. The joke was funny first. I learned Don't from continue you. on with the joke. Is your left arm and okay? I'm sorry. Hey. I learned it from Kaz. him. Hey, you know whose blood pressure wasn't high? <laughs> 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 Got him. Oh, no, but Collins, seriously, Jake stop Collins. leaving me out the fucking joke. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm dead ass serious. Bad. We'll leave. Yeah. Did you and Rose? Did Did Lauren <laughs> Rosie like the pic? Are I you mean, serious? you was in the vicinity. I feel like Nigga, you been, no, no, I wasn't there. She she, she prefaced it like y'all like had a whole you know preliminary talk about. He was on Facetime. He was saying whatever he was doing, mm. and that's the last time I saw that nigga in any <laughs> the form. Last time I saw wow. In any form. <laughs> Wait, you know the person? Uh, I I know of him, but like I don't, oh, okay. I don't know yeah, personally. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know my. No, but that shit is that was disrespect. Y'all didn't even get that. Y'all didn't even see that one coming. <sighs> oh, That's I did it. I was like, what's worse than us? You guys are like, what, Rosie? I'm like, no, wait, <laughs> <laughs> wait, let me tell yeah, you. I, just, I, I, I didn't know niggas was doing that in the streets. Yeah, I real. thought that's like you know if. You're sending that to somebody. That's like entice them, right? Like, yeah, I was like, what's this going to do? supposed to be enticed. This doesn't do nothing for me. Maybe he felt disrespected. Soft dick. By what? 
getting asked to, you know, piece of meat what? on the show. That nigga was happy as hell when he was talking to her. And he was yeah, like, yo, I'm gonna get ready for you. I'm gonna do all this shit. And then Wait, does he know about the show? Like, does he like, he <laughs> does he know what he's talking he about this? He, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. he FaceTime with Lo after. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> See, I didn't do that. He Facetime low. I didn't do all that. Actually, he Facetime low. Like, oh, that's all <laughs> joke, bro. Like, this white boy get a haircut, <laughs> and now you know, you know how he Facetime low. I just so happened to like, be there. Now you want to throw the little the jokes in? All right, Jake, we can we can do this if you want. Hey. All right, okay, cool. Hey. All right. Jasmine oh, said, God. Jasmine said, y'all too comfortable with each other, right? Who? Who? Jasmine said that to me. Yes, right? yes, oh, yes. For him yes. to say that, y'all are engaged. You would have sent her. I would like send a, a flaccid. That's disrespectful. All the time. <laughs> like, yeah, it's but like, let's say you had to go somewhere for Jasmine work. Jasmine has seen my like, penis in all forms. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't know like, what that would so, do. Like, my nigga, like, I, I just saw it this morning. There's not like, many times. Please. I'm like, nigga, who are you trying to send this? Exactly. <laughs> like, she, she'd be more. Because you ain't never did this before, my Jay. <laughs> Jasmine, like, you are acting unusual. Right? <laughs> like, what did this happen? Yo, a, dude, this a dude sent me an emoji the other day that I was like, you found this too fast. Who you sent this to? This is in your oh, frequently shit. used. Emoji? This was in your frequently used. Uh, no, 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 yes. no, no, no. So time out. So Rose time out. Got point. You can type, you can like, you type the emojis out now. No, no, motherfucker. <laughs> There's that, no way he typed that no. out. Bro, no, I'm just, I'm just like shit, to play double that shit is in that, in that box to that the left, frequently yeah. used? that means you've been using that shit a lot. That's in rotation. <laughs> so I'm going to assume there's only two, there's only two or three or four emojis that like, if it's in your frequently used, mm -hmm. oh, rough, rough, to, rough sledding. Mm. The eggplant. Eggplant, mm -hmm. right? The tongue. The tongue. Wait. The water. The drool. Just the tongue. Like yeah, the drool. Not nah, a drool. The water. The drool can be I've, seen, I've seen the drool used for like food yeah. and stuff. You know what I mean? I choose you choose. Not, you spit in people's mouths though, so that's probably why I use a lot. Oh, hey, no. Hey, no, no, hey, no. Hold on. Listen. What's wrong listen. with that? I'll, there's nothing wrong with it. Listen, but I didn't want to there's that. What would you say? There's nothing, there's nothing wrong, wrong with it. it. So then why do you know that part why of why it? Why do you always try to, yo? You always do this as if it's like a negative thing. Did I say well, it as a negative well, thing? You spit in people's mouths. You so I'm brought, sure you like no. You nigga. brought up the drooly emoji. I'm I going, said no, you know. I'm going off people of, use the drooly emoji yo, to like. I'm no. If y'all ever want to laugh, I'm going. Though, and y'all go out, ask somebody to see their frequently used emojis. That you shit is let's, hilarious. Let's do that right now. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, that shit no, is no. hilarious. Let's look at our, our frequently used emojis. Frequently used emojis let's see right what our, now. What our true colors let's are. Let's see. Guys. How do you? Oh. Look how innocent mine are. Okay. Frequently used. Okay. Rolling, crying face. <laughs> Rocket ship. Shout out Spring Hill. Uh, heart. Um, the video. The queen with the crown. There's no, I have no. I'm a, all right, mine are laughing, laughing. I don't have no really heart, like nasty. Rose. He got, he got a heart in every sex. color, bro. We're laughing. Low has every heart color and it's frequently used. Damn. Uh, prayer emojis. And a unicorn. Cover my face. Clapping. Annoyed face. Kissy face. Kissy oh. face. All right, how about this? How about this? Here's a better idea. We're going to screenshot, right? And we're gonna send. send we're gonna send it to Eden. We're gonna all send our yeah, it's our uh, frequently used put it on the group chat <laughs> emojis to Eden. All right, oh and we're gonna ask the the viewers of Say Less to guess. I'm gonna look bipolar. Who's frequently? Yeah, we're not. Yeah, <laughs> nah. Yeah, you too, Jake. I want to see what kind of emojis you even use, Jake. We can. We can. Let's see. see there we go. What are we doing? Right. Send it to the group. We're all gonna send it to the group chat. All right, we're gonna pull them up. Damn, I was gonna tell you guys actually send it to me, and then you guys guess who's. Oh yeah. All right, yeah. Let's do that. Let's do that. Oh, I already sent it. Damn it. All right, don't, don't, don't look at the group chat. Don't look at the group chat. Don't look at the group chat. Right, then you're gonna it. pull it up and, and guess. Two yeah. people. Oh, this is gonna be fun. All right. <laughs> Two people sent. So let's let's let's, let's bring up a let's, let's cool. change the subject real quick. Uh yes. Oh, uh, we could. Uh uh I don't know. Oh, Drake came out. Yeah. New Drake. Yeah. New Drake. The Drake. Drake has been bringing us to the timeline for 12 years to talk about if he sucks or not. We know, buddy. And <laughs> know. That alone. He doesn't suck. That's what I'm saying. Of course, I don't think he sucks. Who said, who said he too. sucked? I don't I'm think he sucks. No, I'm just saying like, Drake. I'm just saying Drake is the only musician that still gets every, still warrants an opinion from everybody, mm -hmm. right? Like anytime Drake drops something new, people are going to say he's trash. People are going to say he's the GOAT. Mm -hmm. People are going to say this song's hot, but this one ain't. Oh, these bars, oh, I wish he'd do a rap album. Oh, no singing, rapping. Da, 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 da. He, NBA players, NFL players, actors, fucking the writers, motherfuckers who haven't written shit in years, podcasters, everybody always has something to say. When Drake drops, he dropped three records this past Friday. Three, it's a three Friday. pack. 
Three pack, scary three pack. hours too. Three pack. Um, you did uh, what you call it? Um, uh, OVO Radio came back. OVO Sound Radio. It's on like uh, on Sirius now. Sirius, yeah, yeah. yeah Sirius got the bag, oh. so we gonna be doing some stuff for Sirius. Oh. Shout out Sirius. Um, OVO Sound Radio came back. I do miss OVO Sound Radio. I was glad to see that come back. But low as the as the preeminent Drake. Drake Storian amongst mm-hmm. us four. <laughs> what are your thoughts? I'd love to hear your thoughts, man. These are, um, these are, you know. He didn't nice. DM you this week and tell you that? No, that's back in August. Um, <laughs> um, these records to me are just, you know, the warm up records. Obviously, uh, what's next is I would look at it as to be the single. I because, fuck with what's You know, next. they showed, you know, shot the video and that shit came out really fast, but it also leaked the week before it came out. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think they were prepared for that. But I think, you know, these records are just. You know, rapper form. Yeah. You know, Clock Tower series form. Um, I wasn't a fan of What's Next when I first heard it. Yeah. Because I felt like the beat was hella lazy. We heard that hook on another leak. So I felt like he brought that hook to now, that song. Now, here's my question. Here's a question I want to ask you. I, I, now I like Drake it. Drake has... I don't think there's any artist that has, like, suffered. Not suffered, but, like, his music leaks all the time. Mm-hmm. Like, all the time. Mm-hmm. Like, does it ruin the experience for you? Like, I feel, I find myself, like, like if not I, yo, if I'd have looking heard, for the leaks anymore because I'm like. If I heard what's next for, like, the first time at, like, maybe Sahara or some shit, I probably would have liked it a lot yes, more. Yes, yes. If yes. I heard Lucky Le- Lefty before I heard it. Because now I'm tired of it because I listen to it. So yeah. Much. If I heard it like for the first time on the album, I probably think like, yo, this is the greatest of his rap skills that we've ever heard. Right. The leaks do sometimes like fuck your shit up. What the fuck is this? Uh, <laughs> we're gonna put a let's put a pin on that conversation real what quick. The fuck is this? We're gonna come back. That's now. Jake shit. I just want to yeah, say something real quick. This, this me. Uh, now, <laughs> as a person who does this Jake, shit, what? Well, only like two of y'all cropped it really nice, and everybody else just didn't give a fuck. <laughs> I know I, I cropped my shit like perfectly. The whole yes, you did. I, I know I, I cropped my shit perfectly. I did too, but also, okay, only if that's Jake's, why are the praying hands so dark? I do. I was about to wow. say, like... You think that's Jake? <laughs> that's definitely not Jake. That is mine, right? Oh, that's that, your, oh. you don't yeah. see the Nigerian I'm about to say, you don't see the Nigerian I was about to say, the flags are... Oh, oh, like, oh, right. I'm a little offended that you, be- <laughs> that you actually believe this. I'm looking at the rocket ship. I was like, like yeah, damn, out. Jake is more racist than I ever thought. Let's go through the first six, though. All right, the first six. Okay, rolling, crying face. That's my go-to. Rocket ship, that's Spring Hill. Shout out Spring Hill. Red hearts, you know, generic. Film usually use that when Evan does a video and right. caption it. Queen, no queen is. Um, fo- photo, same with Eden. And then flame emoji. This is pretty standard. Pretty simple. Frequent, Those are pretty standard. Pretty yeah. standard frequent emoji Derek use, Rose right? Or, oh, Derek Rose. Derek Rose, yes. Any you, see, <laughs> you see how she, I was about to say that too. Who the fuck about Rose? Rose? I didn't want to start off shit. I'm glad I got it. But no, yes. My dog, dogs are there. Nigerian flag, peace sign, checks, all that type of What's stuff. What's with the lock? With the lock. Uh, I don't yeah, know. I have no idea. I don't know. Mm. I'm what a, are you probably, looking at down Probably there, defense. Huh? You know what I mean? Lock up. Something like that. Mm. <laughs> I, eyeball emojis. Also pretty standard. But it can be used for, you know. Yeah, what you looking at? I don't know. I'm looking at myself crying, I guess. The guy with the... <laughs> All right. Now, here we go. Let's look at this. Wait. We got crying face. More black hands. Black, black hands. So low. that eliminates a lot of us. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so this is low. This is definitely low. So let's let's let's... I have a question. Why are the, the drooly face? <laughs> no, that's, that's for food. That was for that's food. That's for food. That's for food. That's right. for food. I'm not. I'm, right. not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Oh, okay. What's Let's Jake's see. question? Why are the prayer hands more black than, than you? Than the, uh, than the <laughs> and other. And then everything else. Oh, I don't know. I just like. I just. Because it was the same. It was the same. Why you got Kaz hands? Yeah, when I chose it, that's what it was. Mm. Yo, that's crazy. Okay, got the heart emojis, okay. kissy faces, and New Year's. What's the alarm for? The what? Yeah, the alarm. Oh, that's like when I use like when I use for like the cheat sheet or when I got have like uh, activation, okay. like I put like you know on my IG story. This is this is your pretty standard like content creator important frequently info. use the yeah, most. Yeah, yeah, like important Kissy information. Face for. Yeah, Kissy face for uh, for Sid. I love the cap. <laughs> <laughs> so who was cap? All love? the all the the, the kissy okay. faces, the the hearts, and the, that's all for Sid. Out of all these ca- uh, emojis, which is your favorite, Low? Uh, I would say the annoyed face one. The, no- the annoyed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I use that that's daily. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's the annoyed face. Someone can say good morning and I use it. The annoyed face and the upside down smiley kind of like. Yeah, yeah that's face. like the like, oh, you yeah. Like, like, oh, okay. I used to love that 
that to the, to the one with the crying face came out, the smiling and crying. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. like the like hilarious. the joyful tear. It reminded me of Get Out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now sink. All right. Okay. Let's it's, see. Oh, I, I think that's. A croissant. That's Jade. We got a croissant. Let's see. A croissant. <laughs> well, okay. Right. <laughs> What's that pussy cat for? Clearly, we got a cat here. <laughs> Wait, this gotta be. Ed, we got right? a cat. What? We got we a got turkey. Emoji. There's a turkey. I was about to say, hold up. The turkey. What's the turkey for? What's the turkey for? Anybody who found oh, flagrant God or, you know. Oh, oh Edin. Edin. This is definitely Edin. Yes, Edin. yes. What's the what is the croissant you, for? What's the croissant for? Like for? I don't know what the croissant is for. <laughs> I'm not going to lie what's, to you. Wait, what's the cat for? What do you think? You know, next oh, one. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> next one. I don't know what the cat for said, either. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know why the police officer is there either. <laughs> snitch. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking snitch. Oh, he was calling a snitch. I don't know. This is weird. <laughs> I'm like swearing a wire. <laughs> like, I'm calling the cops on them. Yeah. Yo. You know that's, that's pretty cool. I've used the hmm face on the bottom way more than that. Oh, this is what the the eyebrow, the thinking, yeah. thinking man's drawing. I can see that. I can see that. All yeah. right. Well. All right, let's go here. Here's Frequently Jake. used. All That's right. Jake. Yeah, it looks like a lot of. Who's... Is that a is that a blind man walking? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you have that? You know. <laughs> <laughs> like, what do you need that for? There is a there is a story being told. It has to be, bro. With these emojis right now. What the fuck, you? Uh, what are you what are we, we got we got poison got the, ivy with the green the hair. I've never seen that woman. In I've the never world. seen that in my life. You know, I've I'm never like, seen that, bro. Where did you find that one? You got a prosthetic leg. Or is that, yo, is that what, like, yo, what kind of is that a humor? robotic leg or a micro? Have a very progressive emoji. <laughs> That's an <laughs> iRobot emoji. <laughs> no. be, yo, what's one. wrong with you, bro? Hey. Got the one eye open. You got, you got, just you like got the, two prosthetic parts a and a blind. Thousand words, you know. It's an emoji. Oh sir. my god! All right, so Jake, you got you got two that prosthetic. Jake, who are you sending the tongue to? Oh, whoops. And actually, it's all ours. Is this who's this? Oh, wait. okay. That's not mine. It's not mine. Well, by process of elimination, bro, oh. definitely Rosie. Oh, shit, I thought we did hers already. Right. So we got a woman dancing, rocket ship. My nigga's requesting a ring. We got a ring. Mm. We got a basketball. Mm. We got a liquor. Is that a spade? And a shush face. You, Rosie, you look nobody. scared, bro. Why you look Don't scared? Tell nobody. Why do you have a goat? You know, the goat. When you talk about goats. What's with the waves? Goats are available. Goats are available. She probably want to be... Okay, you so you want to go to the beach or something? You're requesting a vacation with the maybe, waves? Maybe I am. Maybe... Mm, okay. Try. Dolphins are... Dolphins or something. The dancing lady, okay. Um, what exploded? Where? It's right there. You don't see the explosion. Yeah, there's a the big bottom, like right? bang at the top right. Oh no, it's just oh, like an emphasis it's, like it's like oh, boom. Like it's okay. popping. Are you so are you yelling at somebody? Did you yell at somebody recently? Yeah. Okay. Soft man. I use that Actually. a lot too. The screaming. Ah. I don't use that as much as that. I do. I do. You Guys, gotta, the gag is yeah. this is Jake's and the other one was mine. Really? Are you that's yours? Yeah. This is yours? <laughs> no, this, this is me, yeah. That's <laughs> Jake's. The other one was mine. Okay, okay, okay. That explains it. Yeah, that's that, me. That, that makes so this, sense to me now. Yeah. Not, because right. I was like, yo, why is Jake so using like a tan hand? Wrong. Wait, what? <laughs> So who the fuck is this person with the green hair? <laughs> oh, my homegirl. She has green hair. So every time I, I text her, I, like, she, it was her birthday recently, so I was using it a lot. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, okay, I didn't want to use right, standard so, green okay. emoji, so I used that one. So we got the spit in the so, mouth so, emoji. Okay, the the tongue. The, all right, so now the tongue and the, and the, the drool. That makes okay for her. That would make sense. And oh. there's the emoji that you like. The, 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 hey. the get out. Okay. All right. All right. All right. I'll check out. Uh, all right. Okay. You Damn. Damn. The prosthetic leg and arm is when um, I had to carry all the groceries up. And oh, had and you had your, your broken foot. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, well, shit. I got it done though. Iron Man and this bitch. Wow. <laughs> well, you got no foot. You got no no Wayne head boot now. So all right. That's good. Me, um, me and yours look exactly alike. There you um, go. All right, okay, I like that. Okay, see, so yeah, the basket, the, these are yours. Yo, this should be a game. Basketball. It should be a game. Okay, okay. Like, what do you okay, mean? But, like, with emoji. Oh, this is like. Crunch. This is like, this could be like our family feud. And the goat, I know you, I know the goat is for sports. Do that. Yeah, yeah, okay. Right, yeah. All right, so that makes, okay, his, now it makes sense. All right. <laughs> all right. Uh, we were still, I think I was two out of five. I like how all his okay. emojis oh, okay. that have any type of color are all yellow. Yep. They're just Simpson. He's like, I'm going to keep it neutral. I appreciate you keeping it race neutral, Jay. Yeah. Way to not I rock the saw boat. a black man in there. I, really pissed off. <laughs> I appreciate it. Yeah, if I saw like some I tan, saw, tan, I'm tan, 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 tan hand, I was like, uh, I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, 
<laughs> um, <laughs> see, I was distracted see, by like, the yellow, like, got got him. Yeah, right there. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, 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 I was distracted yeah, by yeah, that. So I'm like, definitely. I don't want to talk about. Wait, so is that got him or is that hey? Oh wait, that's but cool. Spaghetti, man, and meatballs. That's hella racist. Super Mario. That's hella racist. Super Mario. We're getting worse, bro. But then they get on me when I, you know, I'm not doing that today. Bro, that's hella racist. To me and Mario? <laughs> that's that hella racist. racist. Fuck yeah, now, that you're, racist? now you're taking on Cartman today. How's that racist? Premium, bro. Premium Pete's gonna come for you. <laughs> I love for you. That's just, yeah. that's just racist, bro. Oh, man. Or stereotypical. Shout out to you Staten know. Island. I grew up in Staten Island, so I could say it. Right? All right, whatever. Is that how the rules work? That's not White how people? the rules work, but I'll let you run with My that. My best friends are Italian. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I'll let you run with that. <laughs> yeah, I see, grew up with Italian. I grew up with Italian. They let me say it all the time. When you, see, you see how that unfolds all the time. Nah, go ahead. Keep going. Full circle. Oh, Keep going. Man. Keep going. All right, so we was talking about Drake. Drake. Uh, Where is he? I mean, I, like, I, fucks with, I fucked with, um, what's next, yo? No, no. It made I'm, me miss outside. Oh, but again, I, but again, it's all. Yeah, what's next? Who's next? Dun, dun, when you said the oh, uh, hip hop Harry. Yeah, that's what I thought about when you said. It. I'm so sorry. Go. I, I apologize. Lowe's upset. <laughs> I'm so upset sometimes. Bro. Anyway, yeah. uh, Drake, anything. No, but what's next is cool. And tonight, that's that's the banger. Uh, mm -hmm. And he's just rapping on those other records. Lemon Pepper Freestyle. Lemon Pepper like Freestyle. That, that was fire. That was fire. Everybody uh, had an opinion on that one. Really? Yeah. yeah. Lemon Pepper Freestyle. Everybody thought Drake was, that was one of Drake's best verses ever. Really? Uh, ever. I wouldn't say best verses. A lot of people saying, man. None of the verses that I heard today beat out any of the Clock Tower series records. It's also 72 hours old. Like... This is why it's really hard to critique these records. You can't sit with them because like you might miss a lot of shit. Mm -hmm. Initially, when you hear these records loud, you'll have the opinion of like it feels good, it sounds good, people are reacting to it. But like, so he was rapping about his own funeral, which is like, I, I think that nigga's depressed. But anyway, um, I think so too. Well, I, mean, I think, think about it. He's this. Think about how who Drake is and the fact that it's the little things in life. Maybe he does want to be like this is the life he chose. Okay? Yeah, you know, but maybe he I mean, even though it's the life he chose, doesn't mean you can't family. be like, damn, like was it? I mean, art is supposed to reflect your life. Art is supposed to reflect your expressions and your, and your emotions and all that other stuff. I get it. So like, I can't really judge him for feeling the way he feels about his success or not being accepted or where his place is in the hip hop, you know, totem pole. So I get all of these sentiments, but mm -hmm. sometimes it gets a little bit redundant. Mm. It gets a little bit like okay, like it's the woe is me, like bro, we get it. He might have been sad. Yeah. From, he he sounds like, sadder now. It sounds a little bit more sadder, I guess, because care. like that, the success is so high. It's like he's How in this he? isolated but thirty three. Right? Well, nah, you're not. You gotta like, be thirty three. Yeah, he's like thirty three. Yeah. Why he wants to like? Yeah, I mean, he's it's a like, dad right, now. But he can't shit. find a. How are you gonna find a woman? What do you mean? <laughs> what? Like one that's like. They're like you know you know they're, what they struggle with. Who's gonna want to like? Who's gonna want? How do you know who's Drake? genuine? Niggas on record. Yeah, like, the niggas on, yo, the niggas on yeah. the record saying he's in love with two women and all this other shit about I can't. I you know I'm not gonna lie to you. I told you I can't. You're not the only one I can be with. Mm -hmm. All these like admissions of infidelity and all this other shit. Like you can't do a fucking 180 and be like, well, I feel so sorry for him because he can't find a girl. Maybe the nigga don't want to find a girl. Yeah, that's what I'm sorry saying. Sorry for him. I'm just saying like. If I was him, I wouldn't want to. That's probably part I don't of the at would. this point. Yeah, that's fine. How many I'll, years has he been doing this bullshit? At some point, you gotta want to be like, yo. Yeah. Fine. Well, there's gonna be a I'm, time I'm when he's not hot no more, and like he's not, you know, the biggest shit on the planet. He's always gonna be Drake though. And eventually, of course, he's always gonna be. Bitches always gonna throw it at him. Of course, but like, there's definitely gonna be a time where he's not as like in the middle of every conversation as he is like right now. I mean, until until that day happens, and like the, you said on, on Twitter, we're gonna run. You said what? 10, 12 years straight. Twelve years we've been talking about to this. To Twitter, man. every time something drops, and that's the effect that he has on the culture, and that's mm. gonna be fine. But when CLB comes out, we're gonna have to have an honest conversation about his progression <laughs> and about is this the album? Why do you say honest? Like, like you're the only <laughs> honest one, and everyone is. I'm about to say no, like no, we're no. I guess we're all just liars <laughs> here. Apparently, we're not entitled to our own opinion. Why are y'all taking it personal? Because you well, because we're here and you're. If talking we said to that us. to you, you'd be like, "What do you mean?" <laughs> when we talk about hip hop, I'm not like when we're talking about music and and whatever the case is. I'm not talking specifically to the people in the room. Mm. We're, we're talking to a group of people, obviously, on this show, right? I get that. Sorry. Guys. Exactly. Yeah, so like, tap in and understand. Yeah. We're having a conversation with 
the people that watch this show. Mm -hmm. so Sometimes I, I think you know. So he means we as a collective of hip hop fans. You guys yes. too. Yes. Yeah. And we're gonna have to sit and have a conversation about CLB. I think if CLB is this on another level, I don't think CLB is gonna be what we expect it to be. What would? What you would you expect? I mean, just yeah. like just just based off the title of it. What you would have you expect? High expectations or low? I have high expectations. He always has eyes. You're gonna be let down if it's not judging. I mean, like as the quality artist he is, why would I not? I don't know. I feel like that. I feel like when it comes to him, it's gonna be hard for me to judge him like objectively because it's like I'm older now, and a lot of his songs I we were talking about in the group chat. I was outgrew. like, yo, I feel like I kind of outgrew Drake. Like uh, I feel like you know the shit that he talks about. Like you're still making music for people who are younger. Than when you're young and it, when, when you're in your twenties or your early thirties, and we're we're traveling the country and like we're still trying now, to figure okay, out see, life. I don't agree with and that partying and the, the and. Of course, no, but like well, the song, does, I he used to, when he's, he used to sound very aspirational and he even mentions it on the song. He's like, yo, like there's only so much time I could still be relatable. Like, you know, like he's in the one percent of one percenters. But Joe like, and them were talking about this and they were talking about him rapping as a father. Right. Right. So I think that's a new portal that he's going like to open one, up. Yeah. So that's, like that's a new port. That's one. That's a new port. He's going to open up. And I guess maybe if he gets into a relationship. You think the album is dedicated to his son? Maybe I'm the certified. I don't, think it's, I don't think it's. You think the certified I mean, lover boy that, is no, his kid? No. Now that he's really no. talking about his kid, I think it might be. I think it might there's, be. Uh, obviously, I, I think. Feel like he's going to mention his kid in every song. Obviously, there's going to be a, a, there's going to be portions of the, the project that do reference his, hun, his son heavily. I don't think a majority of that project is going to be referenced to Adonis. I think I think that's at least not catches. at least not this project. Maybe like later on down the line it'll be a little bit more reflective i, I, think. I have no I, I have no idea yeah, I, have I don't no know inside, what the fuck is going to be on this show. i have no inside knowledge or information but i do believe that like his son and like certified lover boy isn't him i think like it's going to be dedicated it's, to nah, like I yo think, i don't think it's his son. you're the fruit of my loins so I don't automatically think, I, don't, I don't think you're that's a certified this lover boy like me or i don't think that this that's now you're going too deep in the conspiracy i'm bag. just guessing i know i'm not, I'm not saying you're wrong i mean I'm, not, I'm just saying i don't think it's i don't think this album is that I think the album after this, if he does another one, could be he more heavily placed on the legacy of his son or the experience of being an actual father. I, I think do he's still. Think, a, I, I, I do think that's a reason why I feel like I kind of I'm starting to outgrow him a little bit. Like I could only listen to so many nobody believed in me records or me and my homies we ride into like me and my friends like we super tight and like all those there's only so many times i could hear you know he certain, running through the six with your wolf. yeah like and it sounds great like i'll fuck with all the records i thought the little baby record was tight i liked it i thought fucking i thought lemon pepper freestyle was i, I need first of all drake or rick ross all the time yeah i like them together doesn't miss Every single time, always fuck with it. But with um with Drake, I just kind of feel like, man, I want to hear you talk about fatherhood. I want to hear you talk about growing up. I can't still listen to you talk about shit that I heard you talk about when, when I was twenty five. Yeah. Like, when here's I was where here's where I'll defend Drake. The wow, most. here's the where first. I'll defend it. <laughs> A lot of the rappers that we love and listen to nowadays have been talking about the same shift over the past of you know whatever years that they've been in the game. Mm -hmm. Pusha T, prime example. I love that. I love how he raps. I love what I he love, raps I about. love the meme every time Bro. Pusha T drops something like, if you think I'm going to sit here and listen to Pusha T talk about cocaine for the 12th time, you're damn, <laughs> damn right. right. <laughs> yeah. So it's like... Every single yeah. time, it sounds and the, great. And, and that's the thing. So it's like, we excuse them when they do it. You know, J. Cole has a similar, you know, whatever the case is with their Very the every man style, yeah. Yeah, so it's like, we excuse all of them when they do it. What, J. Cole? Yeah. J. Cole's very, he's the everyman rapper. He's the, he's the blue collar rapper. He got a song rapper. called Folding Clothes. He got a song about fucking Do his, his kids. Dream. Dollar in a Dream. It's paying student loans. Like, What's wrong with that? Nothing. No, nothing a, is no. great. Well, this is what I'm I, saying. This and, is what I'm, and I got I took it personally. Oh no, I'm, I, so I fucked with J. Cole. This is what I'm J. saying. Man. These what? artists, all these other artists get that pass. But mm -hmm. when it comes to you know, to Aubrey, we're like, oh, we want to, we want to hear you. Never mind. 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 As an athlete, that's what you just tried to do. When it comes to Aubrey, the niggas gonna hit me with the as an athlete. You're on a first name basis with him. Didn't little is that song? Certified lover boy coming soon. No, 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 no. Don't move on now. 
Oh, yo, when it comes shit, to Aubrey, you and Aubs on DM levels. You feel me? Aubrey. <laughs> Who when it comes Aubrey? when it comes to Drake. No, don't change it now. Say what you said. <laughs> oh my god. Say true to it. Say what you said. <laughs> now, now I'm getting crucified by calling him niggas by his name. Yeah. That's not his name. Who calls him that? Okay. But his mom and his bitch. I'm not on Aubrey. Oh, I'm damn. not a we're not on our first his name. Mom and his basis. bitch. Ah. Jesus Christ. Yeah, <laughs> his mom and <laughs> his bitch. Anyway. Oh, whoever that might be. Oh, said it twice yeah. for emphasis. Right. right. Like his mom yeah. and his <laughs> bitch. Because I didn't like, think I, I thought you. <laughs> like, I wasn't. Like, cool, like, yeah, that wasn't the part. That, that wasn't the point. He said the loud part. He said the, he said the quiet part loud, right? Right. Like, oh. <laughs> I thought y'all were saying. I thought y'all thought I said his mom was. Never no, no, we know no, no, you didn't no, say no, that. No, oh, okay. I was like, no, his mom and his bitch. We heard the and his. Oh, okay, okay. I have a question for y'all more than me. But do you guys think Drake, like, the first thing he's making music for now is, like, as art? Or, nah, not at all. Or, I think Drake. Wait, what makes, kind of? Wait, wait, what? Like, when you're coming up, or when you're an artist, there's still a ton of artists who like put out music and they view it as like art. They don't want like, you know, it's not a corp. It's not a way of staying relevant. It's not money. I'm not saying it is with Drake. I think what Drake used to do, what Drake used to do, and what Drake got so dope at, but like, who? was make songs for <laughs> Twitter and Instagram captions. Nigga, he oh, still yeah. does. Now nah, he's doing no. Now nah, he's doing songs for TikTok. Well, no, because like, the, yeah, and that, like, but no, no, there's no, a lot no, of no, captions no, no, and no, shit no, no. in the shit. Yeah. That Wait, all right, you all right, cap, okay, are you talking about captions? It's almost like it, sometimes that, to me. What's next? It's not even with, captions. No, no, no. I mean, just like Drake songs almost feel like it's made in an algorithm. Sometimes, like it almost feels it's it's. So, I know you're not talking about these three. What's next? Definitely. A, it, I not, that is not a TikTok I song, bro. No, it's not. You. That's not a challenge. That's not. That's, this time, that is, that's IG captions and Twitter captions. That's all that shit is. You can listen to that shit right now. Tootsie Slide, I feel like was that was the only one. That was the only one. And it didn't one. do it. It didn't. It didn't hit on right. TikTok. Right. There was no be. challenge for that. Oh, no, it hit. Yes, it was a Tootsie Slide mm, challenge. That shit was trash. Even when was that trash. It was definitely trash, but it was definitely like big on TikTok. So you say I don't have. I feel like don't crazy did a better job. As easy I'm as saying, that dance can you was. Do it? Yes. Don't do it. Bro, I'm not I'm not a fucking not? circus If you clown. can do it, just do it. But like Kendrick Lamar would be it, like the lifting your leg so, up. I can't do. Well, right. I was like I, I can't shut up, do it. Shut up. Shut up. Right. No, I was just going to say like Kendrick we'll Lamar would be like the kind of artist I would use in, as an example of someone who's like super focused on like their craft as like being the representation of them mm. in the fullest, mm -hmm. more so than like yeah, Kendrick kind of got that like. Well, so no, the, I don't agree because like everyone who's making music right now is making well, not everyone, but a majority of the artists that we look at that are destined to be great are making music that represents them to the, you know to the best of the ability for them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like obviously Drake and Kendrick are in two different portals, but we can't we can't sit there and say Drake's music doesn't represent him in his city and his peoples. Right, yeah. just because Kendrick is a little bit more aggressive and has a, a sh not a sharper tongue, but just like a different perspective on life, we can't say the art is different. It's just no, it's yeah, it's a fair point. I just think with Drake now, I feel like he might just be, have so much success anyway that when he puts out music, it's almost just to like stay relevant and like that's not that no, that's no, that's not. No, I see what you're trying to say. Like I'm not I, I saying see. he would be irrelevant otherwise. Obviously not. I always well, felt like, and, and the reason why I'm, I was kind of happy that he pushed his album back, and I'm not mad at the scary hours. I, th I mean, it's cool. It's cool to hold people over, but I think he's kind of worked himself into this like situation in his career where he has to stay. He has to do that to stay relevant. Like, I would appreciate if Drake just went away for like a year or two. Like Kendrick just went away. Rihanna just yeah. went. I mean, Rihanna's you know doing shit, but like musically, she just went away. J Cole went away. Like. I would appreciate, and I feel like a lot of people would have appreciated Drake more if he just he took a little hiatus. Just, just went the dark, impact, the quiet. impact, the impact of Drake would not be what it is. Obviously, if he went away like a Kendrick or a Cole or whatever the case is. Again, like I was saying to 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 Jake, there's two different like you know systems that these artists are on. Right, like. Drake is like the superstar, the pop star. These are the things he welcomes. Kendrick's also a superstar. I'm not star. see, but like. The way they look at being a superstar mm. is completely different. Kendrick knows his power. Kendrick knows his worth. Drake sits in his power. Drake sits in his worth uh, from all scopes of it, from social media to, you know, just brand deals. Like, I'll they always, sit in it very differently. I'll I bet always, you if Kendrick, I, if Kendrick wanted to, he could sit in that shit way different. Right. But he chooses not to. I've always believed, like, and again, I have no inside knowledge. I don't. 
know anything personally about him. I don't know the nigga at all. But I always believe the reason why he, he's always put out content and never stopped was like the whole like ghostwriting thing, oh, right? Like I feel out. like mm. I feel like once that came mm. out and that kind of that was like his that's literally been his only blemish as an artist, right? Like as far as like anybody giving him any type of like mm-hmm. legendary status. I feel like once people, you know, knew that people was helping him out in the studio, he had to go extra super hard and it's make sure like, Yo, yeah, I don't blame him. I'm going to put out so much output of music, no one's ever going to question my pen. Yeah, I don't blame him. Ever in life, you know what I'm saying? And I get that. Like if you if the amount of success you have, mm-hmm. Like that, and gosh, <laughs> like uh, I don't want to call him. I'm not gonna no. call nobody names, but like to have somebody like Meek Mill, <laughs> like kind of taint that. You know what I'm saying? Like I would be hot too. <laughs> like I would be his like. Yeah. No, no shots to him. No offense to Meek, right, or anything like that. But like he's put himself in so many situations where it's just like, man, what is what is this guy thinking? What is this guy doing? You know what I'm saying? But Drake at that time, even with back-to-back dropping and winning that beef and, mm-hmm. and almost ending Meek, you know what I mean, and coming back, like there's still that shit in the back. Like no matter how many hits he drops, no matter how many bars, it's always like, but did he write it? Like, but see, the thing, yeah. with, with the, the, the thing with Drake, I'm not sure if it's but, fair or not. Before you get into that and before y'all get into anything else, I got to go. Okay. So I just want to say bye to everybody. Enjoy the trip. I'm saying I gotta go. Go out. Be, be safe. Love you know what I mean? All right. Come back with stories. Have fun on Star Weekend. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 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 wow! Bong bong bong. God damn! What the fuck? Listen, man. Where the fuck Listen. I'm going? <laughs> <laughs> um. You no, know, I think I think with. With, with Drake, yeah. um, like you said, he had to go harder and he had to prove himself. And I'm not, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. And you're mm-hmm. supposed to do that. Mm-hmm. You know, when LeBron, when they said LeBron couldn't do it, what he did, he went to LA and did, yeah. and did even harder, whatever the case is. Yeah. I think that's what you're supposed to do as an artist. Cause he is very competitive as we, as of course. Watching. And he's, and you could tell that like, that still bothers him. But as it should, it shouldn't. Because it shouldn't, but it does. You it can shouldn't tell. because hip hop actually started with ghostwriters, like Curtis. Dropped and that's what like, I'm saying. And like, I think that's why be no shame in ghostwriting. But see, but see, what you, and but that's the thing, though. I think that's why it bothers him because he knows like the history of so many people. Like, I bet he's one of those dudes. Like, yo, if I could really uncover how many of your dudes have people, you know, having given lyrics to them, have a reference tracks, all this type of shit. Like, I could blow this whole shit up. But I think, for but the he sake knows of, also that the guys that people. Could compare him to don't have them you'd be surprised yeah. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. you'd be surprised when we, bro. Look at, when we look at the competition of drake right, right. We, put, we put him up against hove right does hove have ghost writers no i don't, that, think so, we, no. when we look at kendrick does hove kendrick have ghost writers no no i don't think so no okay so then who else are we put him up? and here's who my thing here's my thing i don't think that's the point the point i'm trying to make no is, no no that is the point no 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 i think the point is the point was it was part of the origin of no hip-hop. but again what i'm saying is we're comparing like you said yeah hip-hop hip-hop started out as people with ghost writers so yes it bothers him that much mm-hmm. because that's how it started off so now when we compare him to the greats that are still active, do they have ghostwriters? No, they don't. So now the competitive nature comes back into play where it's like, I gotta edge these niggas out and let niggas know I can rap just as good as them because I don't have ghostwriters. I nigga, I write all my shit. And I know those two niggas that are the two nicest mm-hmm. don't they, they don't have anybody writing their shit either. So I have to have my fucking content up to par with them just to prove that I'm I'm just as nice, if not nicer. My thing is is that's, that's how I'm looking I don't, at it. I don't what I was trying to say say by like not, it not really mattering is that it's the perception that Jay and Kendrick don't have ghostwriters. And the he perception. wants that same perception. And he used I'm to saying. have that perception because right. not only was he barring people up and writing great songs, he was writing songs for other people. But this is my this that. is my point. That's 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 exactly my point. Yeah. He wants that we our perception of Jay and Kendrick is not that. Though, there was a point where like Drake had the hottest pen in music. He right. was writing and it, shit for everybody. And, it, and, and what happened? Everybody. And it got tainted. Yeah. Right? And yeah. that was, like you said, that was the one blemish in his career that could 
keep them out of a top five or whatever the case is. Uh -huh. yeah. When we look at Kendrick and Jay, the perception is these niggas are just filthy with the pen. Right. And like you keep saying, it that bothers him. Yeah. So he wants that perception. I'm not sure if it does bother I mean, him. I mean, again, this if is- If I was him, yeah, it right. would bother me. Hypothetically speaking. It's if, like if, if I'm- that, a, If that's the thought process. It's like if I'm, if you're LeBron, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you're always, no matter what you do, no one's gonna wanna hear you until you get number six. You know what I mean? Because you're that's what you're aiming for. So the perception is the I need a sixth ring. Yeah. So the perception is with Drake, I need to be notified, like be as notable as these two niggas because the for perception this. the yeah. perception is these niggas write they shit. Right. right? So the blemish, yeah, like you said, hypothetically, yeah. it could bother him. There's always gonna be those things, right? Like the with the LeBron comparison, obviously. It's like when you look up numbers from Braun to Jordan to the Kobe's. LeBron is on pace to blow all those people away, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But in certain areas and in, in, in circles that matter to him, it's always going to be about number six. And can you get that? You know, and I kind of feel Drake's in that same boat. The Drake, Drake is Drake numbers is, wise. Num Drake is gonna blow everybody out. Drake, he already our, has. Our conversation is not even the numbers, so it's like it's kind of switched. Right. The conversation with Drake is the perception of do you write your own shit? Mm -hmm. When you look at LeBron, can you get to number six? Mm -hmm. So the number factor with Drake, that's already been solved. Right. Yeah, I mean, nigga sits on top one hundred, top one hundred. Right. They about to do uh, one million for each song on the six pack on the Scary Hours too. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. he's about to move three millions off a of three off a three song EP. So the number conversation do, we don't think got gonna do a billion. Oh. <laughs> oh, you think it's gonna do a billion in a month? You think it's gonna do a billion? That's the first thing someone hit us. It's like, yo, you think it's gonna do a billion in a month? That's a good barometer, though. Yeah, like that's a good barometer. Over the scary hours off like, of, off off of Rihanna doing that billion. But see, was it a month that we said? Yeah, we said a month. Billion in a month, okay. But see, like, ugh, do we want to? Oh, he's gonna do a billion in a month. Each of those, he, easy. Each easily, easily doing a billion streams a month. I mean, y'all was wrong last time, so yes, you were. I said y'all were wrong last time. Mm. You're still wrong. Y'all were wrong. I, what? Because Joe. No. <laughs> so then, why do we and call Anthony them? Said they were oh, wrong. now, oh, now they're they're, Those they're are just educated. Now their opinions are invalidated yes. because y'all were wrong. Opinions. opinions. The goalposts, like, don't move the like, Come I'm on, bro. I'm not moving bro. the goalposts. I'm now saying. that shit is invalidated. We call three good minds that have way more experience in the very, industry than we very do. Very educated opinions, but at the and end now of the day, it's like, oh well, because Joe said it, because Anthony said. It, I yeah, mean, that's you guys why we can really them. find this out now with these three Drake songs. That's why I said huh? I said the Drake, the Drake three now. pack, the three if, pack is a good barometer on if Rihanna can do a billion, right? And I think, I think Drake's gonna, I think each of those, I think definitely, uh, what's next is gonna do a billion in a month easily. The the, the song, yes, yeah, easily. That's the single. It's got the video. It's got all that shit. Like that's e easily. I, I heard it on the radio on the way here. Well, I'm like, yeah, because yeah, it came out Friday. Why wouldn't you? No, like in rotation, like it wasn't a mix show. <laughs> okay, it came out Friday. Why wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah, it's just like, it's just like, yeah, like you, you, you're not helping you're my like, Again, yeah, because you're not making a fact. Like it's You're yes, helping my point. I understand, but it's why? It's already on the radio. It just came out. Why? Okay, but why? I understand that. That you're yeah. not saying anything like it's like mind blowing. Yeah, of course it's going to be on the radio. I think it does a billy, bro. I don't, I don't, I don't think, I don't think Rihanna, it does. I think Rihanna easily. I don't think it does. does a billy. I don't Trick think it became does. the first. I don't. I don't think it does. Drake became mm -hmm. the first uh, Spotify artist to surpass 50 billion streams. He just now did it. Uh, like a month ago, uh, two, six weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> dead, just right? now. Just now. Just what? fucking now. What do you mean? He's been in the game 12 years. That's I mean. Who's been in the game for 12 years? Drake. Oh, I thought you said Michael Jackson. I'm like Jake. Get the fuck out of here, please. No, because I thought you were talking. <laughs> no, you were talking about Michael Jackson's stats. R, Ke R. Kelly. That's all right. So um, all right. See, like. Jake always want to take <laughs> we it. We didn't have far. to do that. Yeah, we didn't have to go there. Like. Nah, that was shout out to Chess. Anyway. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> stop. 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 All right. So, I mean, so again, the con this, I guess, is like the rollout conversation for this album because mm -hmm. we're going to continue to talk about this. I'm sure people are going to bring the number conversation. I love the Drake season. Conversation. Don't you love Drake season, Low? I, I mean, listen. Whether you love him, whether you hate him. You love to hate whether him. You eat, whether you like the music, whether you don't like the music. Yeah. Drake gives us something to talk about every time he drops music. And I understand it. And I want to hear I get him. it. I want to hear the progressive, the progression in the CLB whenever we get it. But I, heard I will, the, I will yo, say listen. this. I'll say this. Lil Baby cleaned him up. 
A little baby definitely cleaned them up, but also Drake let him clean them up. <laughs> Drake let him? I think Drake let him clean them up. Yeah. <laughs> I think the point, I almost think the point of the three pack was to let people know, like, after he hit his little baby record where little baby cleans me up, here's Lemon Pepper Freestyle where I go off for five minutes about everything. Mm-hmm. And what's everybody talking about? I mean, yes. Lil Baby definitely getting his shine, but like at the end of the day, nobody's like, damn, Drake, my, Drake's slipping. He let, he's letting these motherfuckers wash him up. Like, came up very next track with Rick Ross. Killed it. Killed it. Oh, well, it, it remains to be seen. We'll see what he's, he, uh, he's, a, he's an extremely interesting person. Like, he's is, one of the most interesting. But this is why I say he sits in his superstardom yeah. way differently than a Kendrick or a J. Cole. These well, moves, he's bigger than those guys, too. But I'm saying, these moves are calculated. These moves are precise. These moves are concise with everything that he's doing. Mm-hmm. He knew that what's next was going to be the record. He knew the conversation about Lil Baby was going to happen. And he knew that the you know, the flowers being thrown for Ross and, and him collaborating was going to happen. These things aren't just by accident. All right. These things are like, alright, this is what's going to happen on Scary Hours 2. It, it, it's, it's, this is what he does. Yeah. He sits in it. He still he still hasn't necessarily um, been that dude that... <laughs> let, me, let me say this right. He still hasn't necessarily... He doesn't have to rely on the audience to be like, oh my god, I hope they like it. Like... He is a like he's a walking algorithm, bro. Like just the way the music business is set up, his fame, streams, social media, all that shit. He can literally drop like two minutes of saying absolutely nothing, and it's gonna do numbers. There's and it's gonna get talked there, about. There, not there's. The, It'll be talked about more if it was asked. The needle, the needle does not move without your fan base. The needle will, the needle will never move without your fan base. I don't give a fuck how big you get. I don't care how well he moves take that a, fan base. Yeah, the need, yeah, because he's he cares about the fan base. Yeah. So you can't say like I don't even think like yo, even if the fans didn't give a fuck. They they he knows that they care. And yeah. he knows he cares about how much they care. He should, yeah. Definitely. And I'm sure he watches a lot of these shows or listens to a lot of these podcasts and you know, people sending clips to him. He gives a fuck. I mean, not to say he gives a fuck about, about us, but he gives a I fuck. I hope so. I hope you watch. I mean, that would be nice. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, he gives a fuck about I hope someone sends you this clip. I hope B dot sends you the clip or something. He gives a fuck about, <laughs> you know, the opinion of the public. You know, for him, mm. I, I, you know, I genuinely think he does because he understands the way it moves, how people talk, when people talk, who who's talking. Mm. He's one of those guys that are tapped in with that shit, yeah. and it reflects in the music. And that, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what keeps him relevant. It reflects like, directly in the music. He's always it's it's his it's his ability to like kind of. St- not stay with the ears of the street or stay grounded, but somebody keeping him with the ears of the street or staying like, grounded. yo, yo, listen, the, the, watch this. Real yo, quick. get on this guy's record. Yeah, like this. Yo, or, or not, talk not even, about this. Not even that. Just like, yo, here, here's what they're saying. Right, right. Here's what somebody's right, saying. Just, right. look, just read this. I mean, he's a business. If, he, if he's not on top of that shit, he ain't going to be, he's not successful. But this is why I'm saying he sits in that superstardom realm where everything around him, he's aware, like everything. Not to say like any other artist isn't, but I think he's tapped in a little bit differently because I also think that he just has, also still has that young soul. Like he's like 33, but. Well, he's a product of this this shit. Like he came up in social media era. Like he's the, right. he's the, he's the fucking, he's the big bang of the blogger. Right. You know right. what I mean? Like right. when comeback season and so far gone dropped, like that was at, the, the height, but not the height. But that like was the, at like the very genesis of like yeah. you can get popping if not nah right. Two dope boys, you heard that new misinfo on Smash, post your shit. Mm. Like that was the that was the fucking the 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 pathway mm. to success at the point, and, and he I was still, the biggest out of all of them. And I and I still think he keeps that mindset with you know Twitter, Instagram, like the DJ academics, or you know all the other shit. I think it's still like a part of that. Mm. today mm-hmm. where because i remember academics were saying like yeah you know what's next is just the, the warm-up and clb is still cooking but like that's like what the blogs are doing like oh drake is about to drop so far gone and we post it and boom it's all over the place. yeah but you that's I mean? that's been that's been, exactly that's been the formula his whole career that's right so he, like, sits, he sits in that shit some way, of the way differently yeah some of the best shit he's ever dropped like it would be songs leading up to the album like all those Fucking top, clock tower series songs, like all those fucking freestyles. The uh, the 
What was the shit called? Scary hours? Not scary hours, but OVO hours on blo- back in the blog days. Like, oh, yeah, when yeah. Take Care was about to come yeah. out. When he was dropping shit every other week. Like, those are some of his hottest shit. Mm. And, um, but that's what I'm saying. I don't think there's anything better on 3-Pack. And not to say uh, scary hours, too. That, not to say it's not good. But there's nothing better than those Clock Tower series on here. Nothing better. Nothing I mean, on Love project. and Pepper Freestyle gives me Clock Tower series vibes. He could he could have named that fucking 11 p.m. and whatever the fuck. And I'd be like, <laughs> OK, sure. that fits. You know what I'm saying? Like until, it would, until, until he does. It would fit. Yeah, for real. Until he does. Until he, exactly. That's it. it I'm would curious. Fit. So all right, so he got six point four million streams in one day. Six point well, what's next? Or what is it? And this is just I'm Spotify. That's just yeah, Spotify. and this is just Spotify. Yeah, the, so the first one, that's what's next, and the second one is once and needs. And then the he's so he's got four six point eight, sorry. He's got four of the top three of the top four most yeah. streamed songs on okay, Spotify. So right at now. that rate, does he hit a billion in a month? And it's I only think, been one day. And this is all and, and, this is in conjunction all, of all the records. All streaming platforms. All streaming platforms just on one track. Well absolutely. Or do, are we are just we just saying all the are we saying all three tracks? All of them, maybe. What's up? So we're counting Spotify, Title, and I, Apple Music. I thought he was asking. And YouTube. Honestly. Just based on those numbers. Well, YouTube, yeah. YouTube does count. Uh, and yeah. TikTok actually counts too now. Yeah. It's an official thing. Yeah. Do you believe that? I don't think those song, these I songs aren't, these songs it. don't resonate on TikTok. None not probably not on TikTok, yeah. I'm telling you. None of these but songs. What's next? What's next? Not, no, what's next is not going to resonate on TikTok. I'm you telling you. TikTok correspondent. I'm telling you. No, I'm you. not. It's just, it's not. It, it does. There's nothing about that song. The hook. The hook, man. Last week, then, 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 had some sex, and then, and then, and then, was next. Like anything when you start enlisting shit, that's TikTok, bro. I see that. I'm telling you. Like, give, still, it, give it two or three weeks. Do you think it will hit a billion streams? We'll see. Streams? All right, so we'll see. Absolutely. Weeks, huh? A billion streams in a month? Absolutely. Oh, a Absolutely. Week, a week would probably be the question. No. Oh, no, no. A week, you're, you're pushing it. Yeah. All, all together, every, every, every stream is platform, platform a week? Yeah. Uh, I think he gets a billion on in a Spotify month? in a month. Yeah. Definitely, I'm saying no, but I'm, let I'll, me look. I'll, I'll let me look at some popular songs right now that I got that I think would get. The first thing I looked at was was up by Cardi B that came out what three weeks ago. I know you're not saying she's gonna get a billion. No, 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 no. I'm just talking about songs that are like popular. Okay, right now. yeah. Right. Up. I'm on Spotify right now, it's at sixty. You can just get on Apple Music. Yeah, you should get it on Apple Music. Yeah, I, should, I should get on. Yeah. Does it? You don't so have Apple Music? I do have Apple Music. Or it's gonna be tight. <laughs> 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 Sorry, guy. Oh, bro. But it doesn't it doesn't have the stream number next to it, does it? Oh, okay. Yeah, we don't we don't. That's do that. what I'm saying. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's okay. Yeah. That's that was the point. Oh my. I don't want to. I have a music. I'll look it up. Yeah. But you guys keep talking. But yeah, no. Um, no. Nah, I mean, Cardi B had what? Is it sixty five million or sixty five million on up just on Spotify? Mm-hmm. Um, fuck. What other popular songs? What, is, what else is a, what else is a big big record? What was the song we listened to today on the way to? Leave Ariana Grande, Grande uh, talking about uh, 69 in. Yes. Oh, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Uh, Whoopi is a big one. Sure, sure. Boom. I don't think Whoopi. 335 million streams right, on Spotify. Ariana, that's Ariana Grande, bro. Drake's not as big as Ariana Grande. Apparently not. She's just, he's probably bigger than her. All right, so the number should be bigger, right? All right. That's how they're doing it. That song's been out for a minute. This is just Spotify, though. How long has that song been out? This is on what? This is on the Ariana Grande one? Positions came out on. Damn, if Ariana Grande. Oh, over two months. Over a month, maybe longer than that. Adam, when did when did Positions by Ariana Grande come I mean, out? I can see Drake being. This says twenty twenty. Uh, Positions yeah. by Ariana Grande dropped on October thirtieth. No, the album, not the. Ah, excuse me. Well, I don't think. Mean, sorry, well, I don't listen to Ariana Grande, so I can't really. Oh no, Grande. yeah, the album came out the thirtieth mm. of? of October. 2020. Album came out too? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's been out for a minute. It says 2021 here. That's why I was like, oh, that's weird. Oh, no. no. Delu- maybe the deluxe edition. Anyway. Well, we're matter. not a numbers podcast, so. We are, but it's fun to talk numbers because they're speculative and, you know, we like to compare hip hop to sports and music to sports. And the yeah. best thing you do is use numbers for it. So, you like that shit? Well, that's like what I was saying. Show. Like, the numbers conversation is reversed from, you know, the accolades. Right. Talk about six rings for LeBron. Right. And what he did to get there. Then we're talking about, I guess, the billion landmark or whatever the case is. Or, no, not the billion landmark, but the perspective of does he write his own shit? Mm-hmm. And when when will he get to that mark? Mm-hmm. So this is why you keep saying it may bother him a little bit, which is why this he is releases, yeah. you know, so much shit and wants to stay relevant because these kind of conversations drive his content. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Facts, yeah. These are the things, like, the conversations on first take and, you know, undisputed. Those drive LeBron. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm sure LeBron sits and watches that shit, 
Like I, like I was saying, Drake sits and hears this shit. I'm sure he watches. And it's reflective in the music. It'll be reflective, reflective in the music and what he does and how he moves. So that's my take. I feels you on that, Lowski. I feels Lowski. you on that. <laughs> <laughs> had a lot of had a lot of people in the comments last week about that what? had a lot to a lot to say about Cam Newton. And child, uh, yes, situation. Oh, well, yeah, what was going on with that? There was no. Nah, there uh, was you know, a right lot, of, lot of people were on your side, Lo. Because oh, I don't look at the comments. I well, mean, not no disrespect. I just don't look. At no, the I, 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 I look at them all the time now. Oh uh, yeah, what was it? What was it? But no, they, they pretty much agreed with you. They thought it was a generational thing. The kids are just fucking disrespectful now. Oh, Joe. And you know, oh, I was saying. I, 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 listen, and I wasn't saying you were wrong. All I was saying is you shouldn't demonize a fucking teenager. I'm not. I mean, listen, I'm not going back to that conversation. That. You know how I felt about it. You know, fuck that little nigga. <laughs> <laughs> we can keep things moving or we can end things off here because it's the weekend and that's true. you know you back from vacation you've hey. been working also i want to say congratulations for the nomination for the Ooh, first yeah. one podcast <laughs> dj Khaled. i want to say congratulations man i meant to i meant to start the show off with that but i'm glad you got I right into it, it. Kai, i you. caught it man uh i wanted to ask you a couple of questions how is it you know sitting with these Artists of prestige, you know, quality of Mary J. Blige, of Wyclef, Justin. Uh, yeah, we have BBS. Okay, right. I'm right. <laughs> 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 watching right. 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 his stories. I'm like, oh, shit, he got BBS. Right. 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 Cool. Um, not like a Big Sean, um, just all these guys, new and old. And you're sitting right there listening to these stories unedited also. It's it's so How dope, that, man. Yeah. Like, cause you know, I mean, you know my history. Like, I came up in like the magazine game mm -hmm. and interviewing artists and doing all that type of stuff. And I always thought like that was something I'd do for a long time. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, the the print era and digital kind of goes up and down. And like now it's dope to finally find this like form of media mm -hmm. that can continue like this passion of mine that I've had for over 15 years. And, um, you know, it's it's always dope, man. Like, the you know, granted, quarantining and, and you know, the COVID era has kind of like put like a little bit of a damper on it because mm -hmm. you're not necessarily like in the room with some of them. Like some people have went to their houses to do it. In other words, others, uh, you know, for COVID reasons, just streaming and zooming and that type of stuff. But it's... Um, I've always felt like it's 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 the work I've always wanted to do for the rest of my life, man. Like I've never been, you know, I've never been big on like, oh, this shit gets mad hits, so yeah. I gotta talk about it. Yeah. Like I left the job because of that. Like at one point I was working somewhere, and you know, I I was always told to do certain stories because they would do clickbait, they would get yeah. it was clickbait, it yeah. would get hits, and yeah. I hate to use the word clickbait, but like I've always felt like, man, like I want to be able to you know leave something here far after I'm gone. Right. You know what I mean? Like I've always wanted to do something that like gave back or or contributed to a culture that like I've loved so much mm -hmm. that I've grown up in, that I've been a fan of and like, you know, especially musically, you know, it was just a perfect opportunity to kind of do a show with somebody like Khaled, who is a, a, a wonderful kind of person. We're going to have him on a show soon, by the way. He definitely wants to come do the show now that we wrapped yesterday. <laughs> so Woo! we're going to do that very soon. Mr. Khaled, but, <laughs> I welcome the conversation. The, the yeah. couch is wide open. Bro. We're going to zoom you in sure. one of these days. But like he has a similar passion because, you know, like the more the more I got to do that show, the more I learned about like his history, too. And like he went from like literally hustling self phones mm -hmm. carrying crates in new orleans and meeting baby and wayne to dj and to mm -hmm. being the biggest motherfucking you know most well-known dj on, on on the planet right now right and he has the same passion for like you know the, the 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 music and the culture and all that type of stuff so you know as we're doing the show you know it doesn't you know it doesn't necessarily get the attention of a, a Joe Budden podcast mm -hmm. or Drink Champs or Rory and all that stuff. So, I mean, obviously, yeah, I love the guys, guys. Obviously, guys. it doesn't get that attention. But like, you feel like you're doing something. You're adding to, culturally relevant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know it's what I mean? Early. Exactly, and it's also very, very early. So, you know, shout out to the Podcast Academy, who was like, you know, they're 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 creating an academy that is, you know, in this 
blowing up industry of podcasts. It's going to be similar to the Oscars, nice. similar to the Grammys, nice. similar to the Emmys. You know what I mean? And um, they don't got no rookies of the year. Like, I mean, this is. I mean, it's, oh, it's the okay. first. Okay. Okay, okay. it's the first yeah. award show. But like, we're going up like, against I feel podcasts. Like we got snubbed a little bit. Uh, I mean, honestly, bro. No, like, no, we did it. We ain't shit yet. I we're love, getting there. We're, we're getting there. Was, <laughs> we're getting there. The the foundation that's being built in Salem. Yeah, of course, of course, is going to be <laughs> legendary know. eventually. But no, I mean, what, what's tight about it is like you know we're up against podcasts and nominated with podcasts that like I love that I know is quality like the dissects of the world and Hillary Clinton and Obama's mm -hmm. and Matthew McConaughey and like all this type of shit like you listen Conan O'Brien you know what I mean so it's like you know it's it sounds super corny but like it really is an honor to be nominated like to like look oh, at that that's list why, that's like, why I wanted you to talk about it corny or not nah, like, you know, talk about it no you know we who do the show like to, and, and I don't, who would we don't, you like to thank who would I, who would I like they to thank they didn't win yet bro I mean, a little thing anyway. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, what's tight about it is. Yes. Mm. Hey. God, thank you, my beautiful <laughs> wife. When we, got, when we got somebody dope, I'm like, baby, come watch. Come watch. <laughs> like, she'll come and watch with us, but. Uh, yeah, nah, she was hyped for Beaver yesterday. That's dope. Um, but nah, man, like, what's. what's um, it's. It's. Uh, we don't really get to talk about the show as much because like I was just so in it while we were yeah. doing this podcast. Yeah, like there were times we would be doing the podcast. I'd have to take a call from Kyle and hop back on yeah. and do all this type of shit. But, you know, there was so many people that went into the making of that show and the first season of the show. And, you know, there's so many important people that want to see it be bigger than ever for the second season. Mm. So, I mean, shout out to Lenny. Yes. Big friend of the show, of course, big friend of the course. program. Shout out Aaron, shout out Jamal Henderson, you know, John Fontanelli, Ray Hogan, uh, all of our my, my staff, Avian, um, fucking uh, 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 Bianca, Naima, uh, Frida, Josh, um, CJ, Emilio, um, everybody that, that touched that project, man. It really is a special and uh you know important project for me it was my first project with spring hill mm -hmm. with lebron's team mm -hmm. so like coming in off the gate and be like boom award yeah, yeah. nominated type of thing i'm like all right this is good all right we're in good no you know and, and, just, and it's a young company too like spring it's, hill, it's, so it's, it's, like, it's just phenomenal to watch because like you know i i was you know we were there like when you first got it and you know you got the call and this that, and the third and, and watching you like be stressed some days and like but still get it done knows. And, yeah, that, no, I know Jazz knows backhand for she saw day. the stress She's, in you know. first person yes. <laughs> and so like it's just I think <laughs> Jazz stop it <laughs> but I think it's important to acknowledge that it came full circle and for your first season your mm. first you know year for someone to be you know for a prestigious organization say okay y'all are yeah official and all this other shit so yeah. congratulations to you guys before we get out of here i just want to make sure you knew that and the whole say less family knows how dope you are it's just not here it's just not with the new york knicks it's also with everything <laughs> so congratulations my god ah, i love yeah, you man. guys bro i appreciate that man thank you yo yeah. thank you uh, so I uh think, yeah i think we can wrap it up here thank man you, if you East or West. Ooh, all-star oh, predictions. Yeah. All right, boom. Let's go. Let's yeah. talk about some. That, that's why you hit, hey, baby. So I'm like, come on. Come <laughs> yeah, on, production it. manager. God damn. Let's go. All-star weekend. All-star Sunday is <laughs> tomorrow. You know what I mean? It's going to be some great. Wait, isn't all-star Saturday night tonight? No, no, no. They're doing it all in one oh, day. Oh, they're doing it all in one night. All in one day. Oh, okay. So they're doing the skills competition at first, three-point competition, then the All Star Game, and then at halftime of the All Star Game, they have the slam dunk contest. Is, wow! Is Zion doing the dunk contest? Zion's not doing the dunk contest. Dunk contest competition is, and this is coming out Monday, so we'll yeah, have we'll results be. by then. Uh, Anthony Simmons of the Portland Trail Blazers, uh, my boy Obi Top in New York Knicks. What up, Obi? And um, Cassius Stanley of the Indiana Pacers. Quiet is kept, and this could end up on freezing cold takes afterwards. Quiet is kept. Big opportunity for this to be a legendary dunk contest because Cassius Stanley. I was gonna pick him. Is, oh, no, is he hasn't got. He's young. He's still a rookie. He went to Sierra Canyon High School, another Spring Hill again. South Sierra Canyon, um, and he jumps out the fucking gym. Incredible athlete. Obi Toppin, New Yorker, big dude. Lots of Blake Griffin vibes. Nice. You know what I mean? Speaking of Blake Griffin. Blake Griffin just joined the Brooklyn Nets yep. Yep. as well. You know what I mean? There, it, AKA no defense, just vibes. 
Does, does all the big names. <laughs> and just vibes. Just fucking vibes. vibes, yo. Like, I'm at the point now with the Brooklyn Nets where, like, they're obviously the favorite to win it all now. Them and the Lakers, a healthy Lakers mm-hmm. team. Mm-hmm. And um, How long is Kevin out for? We don't know. It's been like, they've been kind of, they, they said they're going to reevaluate after the All-Star break. Soon. Uh, but I'm, I'm sure he, hopefully he's back soon. Okay. But them healthy. First off, I read some stats somewhere that Blake Griffin hasn't dunked in like two years or some shit like that. Is that real? Is that true? So, yeah, some wild shit. Like he just uh, he hasn't dunked in like almost two years. I mean, I don't think it does it affect his game or does it... no. I mean, he's still a very productive. It's just like a unique stat. He's still he's still he was known as like he was the dunker. Dun- yeah. yeah, he yeah. was the so poster. Like, is it like, like affect when, like his game or even Vince know. Carter was dunking at forty? Oh yeah. All I'm saying is if Blake Griffin somehow gets his bunnies back in Brooklyn, um, the NBA needs to be investigated. <laughs> because, All right. So because some tomorrow's the Arsenal game. Do you want to make the predictions of Team LeBron, Team Durant? I'm going to go Team Braun. Wait, yep, do you want to read the team? Or I'll read right. the team. Do we have, do we have the, the right lineup? Oh, I'll pull got Giannis, pull over. Curry, Kurt, for it. Luka, yes. Jalen Brown, Paul George, Rudy, Damian, Chris Paul, Dantes, and Ben Simmons on Team LeBron. Right? Now, Team Durant. I, don't know how I think this is the first time Braun and Steph are on the same team. But Team Durant also is minus him. Yeah, exactly. Like, they don't have so, Durant yeah, on so Team So it's Bradley Beal, Joel Embiid, Kyrie, Ka- Kawhi Leonard, Jason Julius Tatum, Randall. Devin Booker, Anthony Davis, who's hurt. And and Devin and Booker Kevin also hurt. out. Yeah. Yep. Uh, James Harden, Zach Levine, Donovan Mitchell, jo- Julius Randle, your boy, and, up, Julius? and Nikola. Yes, and the, the, if... And Zion. And breaking, I think Devin Booker was just replaced yesterday by Mike Conley because yep. he's hurt as well. Yeah, no, nah, that team, Braun team, looks looks loaded. Legit. Loaded. Even just and the three of Gian, Giannis, Braun. Giannis, Braun, Steph. Steph, Dame. Oh, yeah. That's... Braun's that's probably going to play like... And Luka. Braun's probably going to play Come like on. Team, How do y'all feel about the Utah Jazz disrespect? That's what, yeah. Hey, uh, what wait, Cass, about? have you ever played about? with the Jazz in 2K? <laughs> no, I never have. Nobody either. plays with the Jazz in <laughs> no. video games. Why, why, why would you? <laughs> why would you? But, why the, would but you? that's so crazy to just say that. Like, he, yo, I mean, is he lying? He, I was not, saying, I'm like, he's not, he's not damn. Lying, so it's what? Like, it's like adding. Oh, now so. niggas is hit down. They, they hurt now. They, you don't know, think right? didn't like, tell no lies, lies. bro. <laughs> like, he was like, yo. The worst sick. part was the worst part was when he was picking his team, and he was like, all right, <laughs> I need some gotta problems. go for some height. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Go pick somebody. He's like, give me the monster. <laughs> 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 the go bears just sit there I'm like, word. Yeah. The, 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 yo, the amount of shit that people give Rudy Gobert ever since, yeah, well, ever since the Rona, yeah, even before, the, even before the Rona, he, like he's that was the nigga that like gave like it to big. to Donovan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Remember so he started. He started. He, he also touched the mic. Allegedly, allegedly. I nigga started this whole shit. <laughs> I mean, let's uh, but, honestly. But you could yeah. say that saved a lot of. It did. Time. Like it, it did because they had to shut down. Like, like his yes. being careless. They had. To shut we down. all didn't know much about the disease. Uh-huh. Him being careless. Once he saw. Once he like saw the, the video year anniversary of it. Of him, just about. Just about. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it literally might be. I'm it joking. literally <laughs> might be the one year anniversary. I remember. I remember that day vividly. He's like, oh, don't worry it about was, this. It was March 12th. You sit and, oh, and okay, touch okay, the okay, microphones, right. all that shit. So but, we got, yeah, we got like six <laughs> days. Oh my <laughs> pretty, god. Pretty but nah, man, they treat Rudy Gobert like Meg Griffin, like all the time. Yeah. <laughs> like just, yeah. just shit on him, just openly. Like they got the best record in the league. You know what I mean? Like defensive player of the year, <laughs> just what? signed. What two hundred million dollars? You deserve all the fucking slander doing that dumb shit. Yeah, like, Shaq you deserve frying that, him bro. all the time. Like all these all, all these great plays just Shaq frying. Also frying Donovan Mitchell. Oh my god! That's but at least, up. but motherfuckers like Spider though. Yeah, like people love, like Donovan I Mitchell. I love Donovan Mitchell. I'm a big, yeah, Donovan, and, he, and he a New Yorker. Like I, I ain't never gonna say nothing bad about Donovan Mitchell. But they just be they just be shitting on Rudy Gobert like. <laughs> Religiously, <laughs> like, <laughs> like you got y'all the two all stars mm-hmm. from the best team in the NBA, Drafted. and you're the last two picked. 
in the All Star game is the game, brothers. The game is the game. The game is the game, and clearly it's not 2K. (laughs) (laughs) Anyway, enjoy All Star weekend. Um, Make sure you subscribe to say less. If you're in Atlanta right now, make sure you get tested when you come back. Keep going. Or just stay in Atlanta. Or just stay in Atlanta. <laughs> stay in that home. Come, just don't come back because y'all are the, the level of thirst. You got to yeah, be. We go. We're not going to do this. <laughs> they out there we'll talk wild. about this next week because <laughs> they out there wild. There's, there's a lot of folks that are like not posting out of shame, mm. but we know where you are. We know where your ass is. <laughs> the level going. of thirst you got to be to be in Atlanta right now is incredulous. <laughs> but. Can't even see this. You can't even go to the game. There's no. There's no crowd. Like yeah. To their. To their point. There's less competition. There's less. uh, That is true. What do you mean less competition? I mean like there's. Because there's less people. There's less people there. Have y'all seen these parties? Yeah. Have y'all seen that city? I just meant. Have y'all seen the concerts? I just meant. There's no less competition. There's there's (laughs) mad niggas down here. I thought there was competition. I feel like (laughs) there's a lot of motherfuckers. If there was a terrorist out there who like really hated rappers, bro, if that nigga really wanted, I just wanted to take them all out. One One fell swoop. No, I was talking about for women to like go after the NBA player. Got no, but they can't leave. Like they they coming on a private. No, I know. I understand that. What I'm saying, I think. I think it doubled in numbers because it's like yeah, Atlanta's still popping. It's no, it's popping. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I saw some videos on Instagram bro, today. Like, I'm like, yo, they are I didn't open, see so open. many parties and so many day parties and so many fucking like listening events and Sheesh. concerts. Like Sheesh. this is they out there. They out there. But you know what though? Kind of jealous. No, I'm not. They ain't dying. <laughs> right? Anytime yeah. I see them videos, I'm like, damn, yo, y'all mad irresponsible. We're ma- ain't no mask on. All these rappers out all the time. I'm like, damn, absolutely like, fine. That is like the thirtieth time I've seen little baby outside, and he looks perfectly fine. Bro, like this is the. I'm f- like, maybe they know something. I don't know. <laughs> this is the, yo, it's like the twentieth time I seen Meek Mill and Cooper <laughs> without a mask. I'm like, like, how are you smoking hookah next I'm to like, how many, every night? <laughs> how many times are you gonna shame these dudes for being out and they are perfectly fine? Like they're. Hey, listen. Hey. I, I, Atlanta, I'm telling you, Atlanta got the, the cure. Listen, I'm saying it's in the hookah. I keep telling y'all. This I, shit is in the hookah. I say I'm good, but deep down inside, I would be out there too. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like fun. I just miss being outside. Nah, it, it, is it, is. it is what it is. I mean, y'all was outside. Y'all went to Cabo. I went to, to Miami. Oh, oh, that outside. Oh, stop. <laughs> I knew it. Oh, come on. <laughs> yo, yo, Jazz here with that beady eye right there. Jazz like, <laughs> I felt the heat like, oh, he whatever you miss outside. outside. I'm like, not. <laughs> he tells me all the time. Oh. Bro. Average person in quarantine. So it's not outside, outside. Yeah. outside. Yeah. Every time he comes from outside, he goes, oh, I miss Jazz outside. Yes. Yes. Outside. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Dang. What's next? Dang. As Drake would say. <laughs> <laughs> as Drake would bro, say. Jazz got to come here every week, bro. <laughs> I love having Jazz. Yeah, no, it's a good time. He keeps good time. Me in check. Um, make sure you subscribe to Say Less yeah. on YouTube.com slash Kazim. Look for us on podcasts on Vivo. Shout out to the good folks at Vivo for pumping the show up. You make sure you subscribe to Say Less. If you got Snapchat, go to your Snapchat. Type in Say Less with Kaz and Low Key and Rosie. It'll pop right up. Subscribe to it. Almost at 100,000 subscribers. Get mm. to it. Um, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube as well. Also important. People that are listening on Apple, Spotify, SoundCloud, <laughs> Amazon, um, Napster, Imesh, whoever the fuck you listen to, <laughs> leave comments, leave reviews, reviews yes. leave Some ratings. Stars, yeah. All that shit really oh, helps the show. You really want to help oh. the show? You really want to support? I, I stopped doing the Patreon. I was like, listen, let's hold Co- off the Patreon. COVID let's stop. COVID, stop. COVID did stop. COVID, COVID really did put a <laughs> to Dell it. But I do believe we're building something really good. And if you want to continue to build it, <laughs> those ratings and those comments <laughs> and those subscriptions, especially on the YouTube, really, really matter. Right. So make sure you get on those. Leave comments on the YouTube. Leave comments on the reviews on, on Apple. Uh, share it on Spotify. Share it on Snapchat. All that type of stuff. And uh, continue to support the show, man. Good things are happening every week. Sure. Um, you know, there's a lot of things sure. growing here. Um, you can see. Shout out to WTF Studios, Word. as always. Shout out Ed in. Shout out Wheezy. Shout out Alex. Good people, as always, for uh, hosting us and housing us here. And um, we'll see y'all next week. So like we say every time, unless you're in Atlanta, stay free. <laughs> stay safe.
And always say less. Yo, just wear your fucking mask. <laughs> Please. We're not done yet. <laughs> Please. If you can wear your mask for like three or four more months, I swear to you. <laughs> we'll never say it again. We'll, yeah, I will n- it'll be done. It'll be done. <laughs> Catch y'all next week, y'all. Peace. It's a new year. Yeah. And it's new possibilities. And boy. Do we ever need this? That's facts. Cricket Wireless can help you make that switch with mm. a new plan, $30 a month. Yes. That's right for you. Listen, that's right for you. Yeah. That's right for you. Yeah. That's right for you. That's right. Cricket Wireless, make that switch now. Smile and switch to Cricket. Activation and other fees and restrictions apply. Terms subject to change. See stores for details. You couldn't just look at the camera and say it? I'd rather look at you guys.